Today's podcast is brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Dude, look at this. So these are these are an XL. These are mine. Yeah. These are these are a longer pair, but there's a, something I want you to see. Look at this. Do you see that hole right there? Is that where your dick goes? Yeah, your junk goes in here. So like you put your you put your junk through here. <laughs> and it like it rests. It separates this these boxers separate like your balls and your shaft all the way par- apart from your legs and separates them. This is the most unique, coolest thing I've ever seen. Isn't this incredible? And you got to see this material. It's like a silky, like, can you, you can almost like see through it. You see, you see, see through that. I can see through. Yeah. I see you through it. <laughs> it's really, it's super thin and comfortable. So they sent me a bunch. I got like their shorter ones and longer ones. So it's just a new thing. I'm going to show you the website. So you can yeah, check it out. Show me the site. Show me the site. So, so look at, check this out. They got all these diff, these cool designs. Like I said, they got longer ones and shorter ones. These are these are the shorter ones. I like this chessboard over here. That's awesome. Yeah. So they got all that, and then if you go back to shop, they got like these ones are longer ones. Obviously, if you want like more coverage, I like the shorter ones. I don't know what kind you wear. I think I would like the shorter ones. This is I don't wear underwear, but I think I, I'm gonna start wearing underwear. I was just gonna say it's so thin and comfortable. You can actually wear underwear, and it keeps everything separate, so like nothing rubs together. That's I'm gonna wear underwear now. I think you should use code RBP, get 20% off. 20% off, code RBP. Use the link in the description to get 20% off at sheathunderwear.com forward slash RBP. What's going on, Jose? Why are we sitting in the dark? Because it's nice out here on my deck. I'm out in the woods. It's beautiful. Are you bummed out? How, how's the weather? It's it's actually chilly. I got a hoodie on. I was just going to ask you, are you bummed out that the summer's disappearing? No, I love the fall. I love the winter. I went I to can... school in the mountains. I love I love cold snow. I love it all. Hi, Guy. Hi. Are you got anything to rant about this week? No. No, not- <laughs> well, I'm sure he does. No. <laughs> we have to. As, are you doing okay? Who? I? Who? Me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just checking. Well, hey, no. help me. Help me do that uh, thing so I can see all you fuckers. Every every time I look at Jose uh, when we're on this, I, I laugh because he always looks confused. He always looks like this. Dude, I'm a hundred years old. I don't know how to do this. Find, laptop find, shit. find the little button that says view. <laughs> Just watch his face. You might have to move your cursor, move your cursor around. There's no cursor. There it is. You found it, so you can see yep. all four of us. I do. Okay, perfect. You feel better God, now. You look like you, you're getting lean. Uh, I'm working. What do you What are you weighing now? Two sixty one. Two sixty. 63. <laughs> so he gained three pounds. He gained he's actually up three pounds from last week. Actually, I was actually 267 at one point. Man, as yep. soon as I put listen, as soon as I put a little bit of fucking test back in, my fucking weight just went up like eight, nine pounds. Oh, you're you're back on test? No, I well, I went I I'm, my doctor's like, look, stop fucking around. You need to do one shot a week. He didn't say he didn't actually say a dose. He's like, just you need to get your test back up because the last blood test i did it was like 154 Ooh. and the, the low end of normal is like 336 oh so i was like he's like dude how are you functioning i'm like i feel great he's like is your sex life fine i'm like everything's fucking great like i feel fine wow yeah. and he's like it's still not healthy you got it you should be in the normal range yeah so i put in one shot a week which might be too much so i might go back to like half a shot a week so like 125 <clears throat> 125 a week might be enough okay okay but just those fucking just three weeks of doing no two weeks of doing like or three weeks of doing one shot every week, all of a sudden I'm like I could feel like water retention and I could feel like my workouts are different. So I don't know. You feel more jacked? No, but I feel just feel better in the gym, like training. I could feel like something a little bit. What are you better. gonna do? What do you mean what am I gonna do? You keeping it in? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna scale it back to one twenty five because I don't think I need two fifty a week. I think if I just do 125 a week, it'll be enough to put me into the normal range. Yeah. And enough to keep me like feeling good in the gym and all that. So it's, it's mm-hmm. enough. I don't want to do more than I have to. Yeah. Jose, what are you doing now that you're retired? Do you do any TRT or anything? Yeah, I have to. 
<laughs> I'm useless without it. What, like, do you mind saying what dose or no? Yeah, the same. I, I do 125 twice a week. Oh, twice a week. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. thought about that too. I didn't know if I should. And then I you thought of like, it, Jose. yeah, I would much rather. So I don't have highs and lows. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. keep it stable. Yeah. I thought of Ian's, Ian's technique. I started that. doing that. The, the micro the shots. Yeah. 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 I, I do. I do notice a difference. You and I better? like the fact that the shot is much smaller. You yeah. Have you're not putting much. There. Yeah. It's, I, I kind of like it. Do you, you still do it around? Do you still do it with like a, a 23 or 25 gauge or do you do it with an insulin needle? So I, I was doing it with an insulin needle and I was finding that that would hurt more. Really? Like it was, it wasn't I think, getting I, in. I, I think it's not going deep, deep enough. enough right? That's why. It's not deep right. enough. So it would get like sore uh, uh, where the site was. So I went yeah. back to using a one inch 23 gauge. Yeah. Three. And I'd it's like butter. You should go to 25. You can you can get like a 25. Uh, That's what I use. Two thirds. I use 25. I, think it is. I yeah. use 25 inches. 25, 25 one, one inch. Yeah. Yeah. I go you have 25 inches. You have a one and a half, Nick. Yeah. 25. Yeah. Fuck! I can't find hey, those anywhere. Size of them. No, I can't find those though. You use a five and a half, it'll be fine. <laughs> you need a fucking, you like heart, a fucking you need a harpoon. Animal. <laughs> like a javelin. <laughs> You know when you go to parties and they make balloon animals for kids? That's what Nick looks like right now. <laughs> Nick sent me Nick sent me some. I don't know if you posted those pictures, Nick. Did you post? No, I told you I wasn't going to post any. Nick sent me some recent uh, progress photos, and holy fuck! Nick, send them to me. Yeah, you send sh- them over. You should send you them to my- Jose and Guy to take a look at. That's don't send them balls, bro. I got to tell you, the front relaxed is a completely different fucking look than I've ever seen on Nick. I'm like, it's the fucking legit. It's it's some real shit. I want to um, see it. I'll I'll send them. I'll send them. <laughs> I'm just I just can't I just can't send the Ben. Send them now. So ben, we can send them what? Him. He can't send them to Ben. Can't send them to Ben because he. Why, ben's, not tru- ben's not trustworthy. No, he ben's, coaches the enemy. Ben's part of the other side. Oh, the, the oh Hunter Hunter clan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like him and nick are like best friends until it's olympia time no nick's like you're cut off <laughs> <laughs> so funny do you guys like exchange i'm sorry cards at the olympia backstage <laughs> no. i understand that you don't think you don't get that guy i would not not talk to somebody no 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 he's not not talking to him it's just i understand like not wanting to show the competition your photos agree no i i actually yeah. don't care i mean i i would i'll show ben i'll show anyone i just don't want to post them yeah why the different why the difference i not that i don't like it i actually think it's kind of cool but why the change from last year um i just because there's so much change in my life i think i just want to let people wonder yeah just leave it all under wraps you know what you i'm know. wondering where's what? my <laughs> what'd you say where's your what Where's my text? <laughs> uh, I'll send you a text after the podcast. <clears throat> no, no. Jose, how are you doing? Don't I'm be great. I, I literally just got in the door, got home from work. I wanted you know, to it's ask. funny. Yeah, Speaking of the uh, pictures, me and Guy used to send each other pictures fucking daily, getting ready for the Olympia. And then you'd be like, hey, Flex, send us something. He'd be like, fuck nope. you. <laughs> <laughs> you'd never get something from Flex, ever. Really? And then no, Flex, no. Flex, how about when you ask him what his weight is? Oh, mate, I'm suffering. I'm suffering. We weigh in at night, 207. <laughs> what? Yeah. It, you yeah. know what, though? He didn't show, in his defense, he didn't show anybody. Like, he wouldn't post anything online. No, he no. would. He would. No, no, he once would in a subtly, while. Oh, once yeah, in a while. Subtly, subtly, yeah. 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 But there wasn't a lot. Like, you would get one, like, four weeks out where he looked like a fucking house and he would yeah. post it. Yeah. Yeah. Only earth shattering photos would he release. Yeah. Like the I one noticed with, that about, I noticed that with about Neil, flex. with Neil, with Neil, the back yeah. last friend. Yeah. I noticed that about flex. He's very, very conscious of his social media presence. When it's about when it's him posing or yeah. Show stuff. No, no, but anything, if you think of flex, like he keeps a lot of stuff under wraps. Not yeah. that it's a, not a, it's not a, it's not that it's a secret, but like, you know, like he's he's a a car guy. He's got he's had motorcycles. That like he doesn't really post any of that stuff. He keeps a lot of stuff private. He hasn't had motorcycles in years, bro. No, no, I know, but this is stuff. This is stuff I never even knew. You know what maybe I mean? Not, like maybe not friends. You remember saying, when 
I'm saying so like up. publicly, he never posted that. Remember when he showed up to the New York Pro with a giant burn on his calf from the motorcycle? I'm like, dude, what is that? He's like, oh, I can't <laughs> tell anyone, but it, I burnt it on my motorcycle on the on the tailpipe. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. Um, listen, since we were we were just talking about gear, I thought of something because me and Jose were talking about it in the circles. Me and an unnamed, I, I won't name him just because I don't want him to get any flack at all. Me and an unnamed ex-pro had a conversation yesterday about talking about gear on the podcast. And his position was that it was wrong and that anybody talking about gear is wrong <laughs> because it's illegal and it's bad to glorify it and it's bad to talk about it. So because if we talk about it, the kids are going to do it on and on and on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And my position was obviously that we're helping, but guy, go ahead. Give me your point of view. No, I'll let you. I just want to go after you're done. So I no, I was, I was just saying like, my point of view was, look, we don't glorify it. We talk about what we do because there was other people online glorifying it and talking about dosages that were absolutely crazy. So one of the reasons I started the podcast was so that people could hear it from the horse's mouth and say, okay, oh, they're not doing 4,000 milligrams of test a week. They're only doing a thousand or 500 or 1250 or whatever. Um, or to also help people with like, look, I did steroids. I have some kidney issues. There are things that can happen. So it's also a warning. Like we're not just talking about the good. Oh, steroids are great. We talk about the good and the bad. It's more for information and it's more for a warning. And then we're also I talking, talking about health things like getting your blood work done, checking your blood pressure, blah, blah, blah. So go ahead, guy. No, I was going to say, I agree with this. <clears throat> I do. You agree with what? I agree with what he said, but fact of the matter is, I don't think it should be talked about, but the, but the truth is they're going to do it anyway. So if they're going to do it, at least let us guide them in a more educational and healthier direction. If they're going to do it recklessly any, anyway, <clears throat> not that we're doctors, not, not that we know like any better, but we know from personal experience, working with the best coaches, um, analyzing blood work, uh, and being at the level that we're at, we have a lot more knowledge than the average person. And we're not telling people to do it. We're saying, hey, if you're going to do it, you might want to do it in a healthier way. You might want to try this and not do that. Yeah. Well, like you said, like I agree with you here. Or maybe I don't even agree with that. I, I don't agree that it's wrong to discuss. It's it, because we're at a position now it, at this point in time where there's nobody that looks at us and thinks we're natu natural. 100%. So, so by not talking about it, we're basically just like laughing in their face. You know what I mean? Like, why would you try and hide something that everybody in the fucking world knows exists? I think if steroids weren't illegal, it would be different. Well, and not to mention, and, and, it's, and that, that's where I think the, the line is, is blurred. And that's why we, we look at it because we're bodybuilders, because we do it based on our profession and society frowns upon it. So that's more the reason. I guess my <laughs> point of view is I feel like the harm that could be done by somebody listening to their gym bro that says you got to do this much or that much way worse is way worse than the harm that we're doing uh, by talking about it publicly. If, if there's any harm at all, or if, if people think there's harm, the other form of harm would be much, much worse. It's, you know, take for example, like just diuretics. Uh, yeah. Recently we've been talking about people that take like diuretics, you know, three, four days in advance. They're taking mass amounts of diuretics. We've talked about on this podcast numerous times, all you need is half a diazide, maybe one diazide before a show. That's all you need if you're in shape. And that alone could be fucking help, helping somebody fucking from harming themselves. So it's like, I would rather discuss it than just leave it for people to fucking guess on their own. I agree. I can understand why pe like some people feel that way though. I can, I can, I get it. I guess I can understand why they think it's bad, but I think the service it's doing for those people who are going to do it anyway is far, far outweighs. And I agree. The negatives. That's kind I of where my, I agree. I guess what, I, I guess what I was trying to get across to this person was it's not that what we're doing is great. Like, and then somebody else on the fucking thing said, well, they're just doing it for views. And I'm like, wait a minute. We're actually admitting what we're doing is no, actually no. not that healthy. <laughs> but, 
No, but like sure. somebody said, I do it for views, and I'm like, three quarters of my videos don't have any fucking steroid conversation in them at all. Well, that sure. guy's an idiot. Whoever said so, that I'm like, that, so that's not a thing. But I, I literally do it honestly. It's from just trying to help. I, I believe it. So I'm like, I don't know, Jose. What do you think? Anything? I think the whole topic is interesting, and it, and it brings up a, a point where this unnamed, unnamed ex-pro, I, I didn't realize he was a pro, but um, this guy comes from a completely different era when it was taboo to speak of any of these things. And, um, you know, it, it was a much bigger deal back then, and you didn't talk about it. Well, now with, you know, you're talking 25 years later with the onset of people like Boston Lloyd and, and, and he wasn't the only one. I mean, there's tons of guys that talk about astronomical amounts of gear. He was probably just the most popular one, but yeah, I get it. He was. Yeah. And he was the most fantastical that, that like just loved to over-exaggerate. And, um, Today, it's a lot more open and, and it's important that we do discuss it. So, you know, most of these people, they don't even believe half the shit we're saying because of the Boston Lloyd stories. Yeah. And I don't know where he got those stories. And of course, there are people that use those dosages and he was one of them. But none of the guys that I knew or that I competed with None of us, we would all talk about it in, in, we'd be like, no way, that's crazy. Like three grams of test a week or something, that's crazy. Yeah. What's I, I mean, the point of that? I mean, I know, I know there's going to be people that don't believe what we have to say, but I would rather say it and have half the people believe us than not say it at all and just have the guys with the loudest voices that are spouting bullshit be the ones that get the narrative. I mean, I remember yeah. back when I when I first turned pro and I, I was signing my my first contracts with sponsors, I remember it being in the contract that you couldn't even speak about it. Yeah. No. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. look, Jose, Jose's right. Like there was a period of time, even when I started, yeah, where you didn't have Instagram, you didn't have Facebook, you didn't have, I didn't have YouTube. So your entire narrative was given by the magazines. I had a weeder contract, then I had a muscular development contract. Anything anybody knew about me basically came from weeder, Yep. or from muscular development. And then if they knew anything else is because I put it on a message board somewhere, but like you couldn't really tell people who you were on a message board. It was such a weird thing. Yeah. So it was more like the magazines kind of told everybody who you were. So you could keep things under wraps. But even then I remember a period of time where people like, were like, Hey, like just stop, stop being around the bush. Just tell us what's up. Like, I think people got smarter, right? Cause if you look at bodybuilding in the eighties, man, that shit was on TV and it was on TV because the steroid thing wasn't even a conversation really. Like they could still kind of keep it quiet, Yeah. but now it's front and center. Every, everybody knows it's in the NBA and the NFL and the fucking, you know, it's like, it's not a fucking secret anymore. So my personal belief is that it's better to help than to fucking just not say a shit. I agree. Nick, can you, Nick, can you tilt your screen up a bit so I can see your head? I can try. I don't want my phone to fall over. Because when I put a border on this thing, your fucking whole face is going to be cut off. How about you, get a take, lap, how about you get a lap? He's taking huh? too much GH. His head grew. You can't <laughs> see it anymore. There you go. That's perfect. That's so, great. There we go. What happened? <laughs> Are you in the bathroom again? No, oh, man. Toilet chandelier? <laughs> what the hell is going on? You don't have a laptop? I do, but it's I don't have the uh, Zoom set up. Easier on his phone. Anyway, so we're, are we good? Are, are we? Do I need to pay any time? <laughs> Dude, just get a different book or something, man. What are you resting your What are you resting your phone on? A book. Just get a higher. I think, Fua, that was a. It was a good conversation, and it could have been a really. Um, a, a really good conversation, a helpful conversation, but he he turned it into almost disrespectful, like be like, oh yeah, do crack addicts go on podcasts and talk about their crack use? It's like who are, who are you talking about? Because obviously you know he doesn't want to say the name. It's it's. I, well, I I'll tell wanna, you off the. Uh, I don't want people to just go to his page and roast him or anything. I, I just I think um 
I, I think exactly what Jose said. The conversation got a little bit disrespectful. And he basically, he basically, not basically, literally actually wrote that I was part of the problem. And I'm like, well, now you're basically saying that I'm harming people. I'm like, why the fuck yeah. would I, you know, yeah. that's, that's kind of a shitty thing to say, especially when the <clears throat> origins of this podcast were the exact opposite. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, took me off guard. What I've yeah. known of him through the years, I've met him many times. He's super nice guy. Yeah. And he's always well, he's um, always been good to me too. Yeah. I just think um he comes from a different era. I think his uh as we were saying before, it's how you say it. Um I think his way of going about it was a little argumentative. Maybe that was for Instagram um to get people's attention. But it brought up a good conversation and a good topic, and it allows us to discuss the reasons that we do talk about it. And it's more of a educational and informational and in a helpful way. I've had the only reason I ever spoke about it, honestly, was to dispel the, the nonsense that had yeah. been coming at me. Yeah. Like, Jose, you grew so much over the Jose tripled the dose. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I actually went from being natural to not natural. Yeah, yeah. And and that's what happens, you know, well, especially when you've been training for 25 years already. Yeah. It's so that was the only reason I discussed it to dispel it and be like, no, actually, I use, you know, very, very, very little compared to what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, I did it for two reasons. I didn't want people to listen to the other people with channels that were spouting nonsense. And I also wanted to tell people my own pitfalls that I had like, Hey, I got some issues. I got some bad blood work. I got some kidney. And I'm like, this is why I didn't take blood pressure medication early enough. I should have started taking a blood pressure medication probably when I was 30. Maybe I, I binge too much post show. Like when you're dehydrated and you go and you put on fucking 20 pounds in a day, that's not really good for you. Like maybe, maybe I ran, certain compounds for too long. Like maybe I ran trend for too long. Maybe I ran Anadrol for too long. Like these are things people need to know so they can fucking avoid people who say there are no ways to mitigate issues in bodybuilding are fucking stupid. There are ways to get into the sport and get out of the sport relatively unscathed if you are responsible. And I think that's why we're talking about it. So you can, Potential. I mean, look, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to have some risk regardless, but I think you can try and help yourself by learning a little bit more from people like us talking about some of the things we did that might not have been the best. Great. So that, that's kind of the gist of it. I don't know. There's no guarantees, but no. there's a reckless way about it. And there's a somewhat responsible way to go about it. That's what I'm trying and to say. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're trying to, as we're all trying to educate uh, that there is a, a somewhat safer, responsible way to go about it. Yeah, yeah. That's the way I want to. I don't want to say like steroids are safe or anything like that. I'm not trying to say that. But right. you can, yeah, you can hurt yourself pretty fucking badly if you don't take some steps to take care of yourself is all I'm kind of getting at. Yeah. Guy, anything? I agree, man. I mean, I, I think it... <clears throat> I think it needs to be spoken about 100%. I, I agree with the fact that it is illegal and it could ruffle some feathers, but I think we're doing a lot more good than harm, 100%. But Let I, ask, I Can I ask you something from a, from a parental point of view? Put yourself in a parent's point of view. Would parents be mad if they knew their kid was listening to us? No. Some parents probably. Yeah. Well, this, this day and age, yes. Yeah. Well, I you agree. can have... Karen's all over the place, but are they mad the, because you're not letting their kids paint their nails? Or are they mad to talk about steroids? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Are you over well, that yet? Or are you still mad about that? I'm mad? See, now you're twisting my words. Are you do you do you uh are you indifferent to it or do you still not agree? No, I still think it's ridiculous. But do you are you do you agree or disagree or not care? I agree. People have the right to do what they want. I still think it's stupid. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's actually fair. I like that. See, that's, that's, that's the way you Good should answer. Play. Good answer, guy. That was my answer from Jump Street. People just fucking like to. 
<laughs> Fuad, someone commented in the comment section the last post, like, you guys are getting soft. He should be able to say whatever he wants. It wasn't he us say what he wants. was complaining. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what he said. None, none of us cared. Yeah. I thought I'm, it was hilarious. I I'm still his fucking friend. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree with guy 100%. I'm just not going to scream it out. It doesn't bother me. You can paint, you can paint your dick if you want. I don't care. That's but, what I that's what I think the difference between us and guy is. We I don't give a shit enough to voice my opinion about it because I'm like I don't really give a fuck. And I also yeah. and to but be honest with you, that. wait a minute, to be honest with you, I actually I think I actually evolved on the situation because I talked to my nephew about it. Why because I, I he just helped me understand it more. He's like, "No, no, I just like it." And I was like, "Yeah, all right, it's not that big a deal." Because before he talked, when I first saw him with his fingers painted, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you painting your nails? Because I, because I didn't understand it. You still then, don't understand it. Well, I mean, he likes it. That's what else do, do I have to understand? I, I, I just I can't understand a guy who like you painted your nails. Yeah, but he's probably like, I don't understand why you like to hunt. So it's like, it's, you can't say why somebody likes something. Look at my stomach because I like to eat it. <laughs> There's my answer. Anything you can go else? to the you can go to the grocery store and get food. You have to hunt. A lot cheaper killing a deer for, and then buying fucking steak every week. Why do you like to garden? Oh, there's another one. You're gonna make. I like to cook, make my food. <laughs> Keep going. Let me see. Is there anything guy does that's fucking stupid? That makes no there's sense. There's a lot that he does is stupid. <laughs> there's a lot that he does. Are you shitting me? Like what? Pick something. You, we could have an entire podcast. Of you can nonsense. actually if you think about it. Everything guy does is pretty has like an effect to it. He hunts because he wants food. He gardens because he wants food. He makes tomato yeah. sauce because he wants food. He what do yeah. you do? That's stupid. You have a blowtorch. That's stupid. I burn the weeds in the garden. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking rip it out. He, he writes a weed down killer. You don't, you don't need last a... thing he does. He journals everything. I pissed nine ounces at eleven a.m. <laughs> I took a shit. I ate sixteen ounces of rice. What do you? What is that? I did. Uh, the one twenty fives for seven reps. Uh, who the fuck writes down all that shit? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Jose, you never kept a journal? Not a chance. I didn't either. Me neither. <laughs> I knew if I was stronger. I knew if I wasn't as strong. I knew it. I didn't have to write it down. That's Facts. incredible. It's so funny how some people are so married to it and some people aren't. Because if I talk to Justin, Justin's like, maybe he softened a little bit on it now, but he was married to his. Like we actually argued about it one day because he was married to his logbook. He's like, I, he's like it helps me progress blah 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 blah. and i was like okay cool you know whatever i never fucking use a logbook ever i don't think the goal is to get stronger we're not power lifters that's yeah. a, no 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 my, well, i never i didn't log my shit in the gym no but that's what they say that's what justin would say jose his his uh mindset in the gym and i think ben somewhat has a mindset so does ian to a certain degree that the stronger you get the bigger you get to some, to some degree, there's a correlation. So they know if they're lifting I, strong. I agree with that. Yeah. That's not, that's not a bad to a degree to, to a degree. But right. It's more about feeling the muscle and feeling that exact same feeling, if not more with slightly more weight, you know, yeah. if you're deadlifting four or five, and then three months later, you're deadlifting 500. Yeah. That, it, but as long as it feels exactly the same and you're not changing your form and, you know, yeah. arching, rounding your back to lift it, you're going to get bigger. You don't have to write that down. You know, yeah, guys. So there you go. So the guys who paint their nails will be like, you're stupid. You have a logbook. Great. Hey, you little pansy. <laughs> you and your little <laughs> trapper. Tape but I write, in a, I write in a logbook without painting fingernails. <laughs> what else does guy do? He, Fucking drives around screaming at people. Guy, uh, there's one. You know what? That's one. Somebody could say, "Well, you got a fucking TRX. It's useless. Just a big monster truck that wastes gas." Yeah, and you don't even shut it off when you're running the to get your coffee. <laughs> See, you do a lot of dumb shit. You're bad for the. You're bad for the ozone. Bad for layer. the environment. <laughs> All right, yeah. fucking cigarette food because that's healthy for the environment. I'm not complaining about people people painting their nails. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> He can do anyway, whatever he wants. I, just, I just said I didn't like it. No, it's all good. Anyways, um, Nick, what's going on? How's your prep going? How's jail? It was good. It's good. good. I'm 286 this morning. You seem like you're in a oh, better shit. place than you were a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, I'm getting there. You seem like you're like starting to get in that zone. 
Yeah, locking in. Are you eating a lot, eating a little? What's going on? Uh, well, we have three diets. You know, we have a high day diet, the base day diet, and a low carb day diet. Are you hungry? Diet. Are you hungry at all? Like on your low, low yeah. carb day diet? Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm staring at the clock now. Really? Yeah, I'm hungry. But you're still like 13 weeks out. Oh, my, my metabolism is rolling now, boy. Really? Yeah, because you were like 290. Yeah. I talked to you like three days ago. Or no? Oh, yeah, it's, drop, it's dropping now. Yeah. I was stuck at like 296, 297 for a long time. And then that's when Don went down. And then, you know, we made some changes and then I just started to go. Does it worry you that you're hungry at 12 or 13 weeks out? How if you're going to be fucking starving? No, no. Because that's the process is he wants me to be ready early so that way we can cruise into the show and eat more. Mm. And look, you know, not look like we're burnt out. Jose, did you do things that way at all or no? How'd you do things? What do you mean? Like when you got ready for a show, would you get ready early and then eat back up to the show or would you just bring it all the way down to, to a point? No, I look like a slob at five weeks out every year. You did. <laughs> I remember that. Like, like, are you doing the Olympia? I'm like, yeah, shut the fuck up. What do you mean? And then by two weeks later, they'd be like, holy shit, you change fast. I'm like, no, the diet that I was doing at 16 weeks out is what actually got me to that point. It mm. wasn't two weeks of dieting. It's just I never looked like I was in shape until the very end. Why would yeah. it? Why would, were you holding fat or just like you held a lot of water? Why did it look like that? Yeah, I just because I'm so short. Like like that. I looked in clothes. I looked chubby still. Yeah. It, it wasn't until I mean when I'm walking around the gym, you can't tell I have striated glutes at eight weeks out. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I just look like I'm overweight. Yeah. And my face is still <laughs> my face wouldn't get sucked out till till the end. Yeah. So everyone would ask, like, are, you, are you still doing the Olympia? I'm like, are you shitting me? Yes. <laughs> like, I'm in shape under here, you know, <laughs> but I, I, I never looked like I was going to be ready. Yeah. And even Chris would be like, dude, what the fuck? We get a step on the gas. I'm like, yeah, I'm not worried. We'll be fine. And then sure enough, at the end, I'd be ready. Crazy. But I, I didn't, I was never worried or, or like that thought that I was going to miss it. One time I was worried and yeah. that was 2016. Why? Because I got married and then I went away on a month long honeymoon and then Flex got married. I re and, oh yeah. And Flex's wedding was like seven weeks out from the Olympia. Nine. Yeah. And I was a mess. I was like 245 and with nine weeks to go. So and wait a minute. Back up. How many have you been how many times have you been married? Me or Guy? No, guy, sorry, Jose. Oh, your finger was pointing at Guy. I know, I'm sorry. I'm Jose. Uh, once. What so you're still married to the girl you married in 2016? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> so, so you got married in 2016 and got divorced. Yeah. How long were you married for? Four years. Huh. Why'd you get it divorced? Was, it, it was more of a lease. The, the lease was up. <laughs> I didn't renew. It was an okay, option. Wait. It was an option to buy. Okay, wait. I have another question because you said you went on a month long honeymoon. What the yeah. fuck does that mean? It means I traveled. Um, I, traveled. I understand I, that. I want to know. Can you like elaborate? So I, I rented a, a house on a lake up in New Hampshire. And a bunch of family came up and stayed with us. And then we went on a 14-day uh, Mediterranean cruise. Holy fuck. Yeah. And Sounds I was incredible. completely um, a moose. A moose knuckle. I really? was... I was, Oh! It's <laughs> it, I got to show you something. What happened? I got to show you something. Moose knuckle. He's got a picture of a moose knuckle now? No, man. This is going to validate my... I've got so many fucking DMs about moose, moose knuckles knuckle. and how, you're, how wrong you are. Moose knuckle. Yeah, I saw some, some people write about it. It's okay. not going to change my There's opinion. There's actually a company called Moose Knuckles, and that's a set of balls. Well, it looks like sunglasses to me. No, it's a set of fucking balls, it looks man. Like, it looks like a moose track to me. I'm telling you, it's a set of nuts. It does look like glasses. 
<laughs> you guys are fucking yeah. assholes. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling you, man, these are fucking balls. Look, that's the style of the clothes. <laughs> they have nuts hanging. Yeah, that's the symbol. Their symbol is nuts. Oh, Where's wow. the nuts? It's that's a fucking that's a sack, dude. What do you mean? Where? Look, Where? right here. Can you Google a moose hook? Oh, no shit. It's yeah, a moose man. Hook. Watch. That's an uh, expensive jacket. Six hundred and seventy around. Yeah, it's a huge. Awesome. It's a huge company. Where's this company at? It's in Canada. Bring your legs. Um, so I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna get buy a company of moose knuckles and have balls on my back. Look at Post this. Malone owns it. Well, he's a uh, sponsored by them, I guess. See, he's got. The oh, moose, he wears moose knuckles. He's got the moose knuckles, man. Let's check it out. Look, see, those are moose. Those are balls. Wow, it's not, ball, it's not a ball, bro. Dude, that's a testicle. Not. Uh, Dude, you can make anything. Google, in this Google, world. Google a moose that, print. Google a moose print. Is that a moose print? <laughs> but it's a. It's it's supposed to be a moose print, but it's really balls. How do you so? Oh, so you're you're the you're the designer now? No, no, no. It's <laughs> it's it's not balls. I'm t- everybody here. Okay. Oh, fucking guy. You're such a dick. What? Uh. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's, well. a, it's a moose paw. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's balls. It's got to be. It's not balls, bro. <laughs> All right. It doesn't matter. Nick, Nick, fix your head. (laughs) Yeah, your head's totally going to cut off the whole fucking podcast. Back up. Hey, guy, let me see your hair. We got to do a hair check. Oh, guys, can we end this bet, please? I thought we did. No, did you shave your head? You lost, motherfucker. No, you said we were done. Last podcast. Hold on. You go back to the podcast. You said Nick already shaved, so it's over. Well, Nick's paying us all then. Did you, you shave your head? Did you shave your head? I did. Because you said it was over. Did you shave your head? You shaved your head. Yeah. I just assumed that Nick is out because he doesn't ever do any bets no. properly. Who had said last podcast it's over because Nick already shaved his face? Let me see your fucking head. I shaved it. Oh my god, you lost. No, I had I lose. You said it was over. Me and fucking Jose are going strong over here. I didn't know that. You said it was over last podcast. Look at this fucking disgusting. Look at this. Wow. We look a lot alike, Fuad. I'll keep it growing. I don't care. I think it's guys gotta grow it back. I'll grow it back. Just I think Frank's growing his too. Mine grew fast as fuck. Okay, then grow it back. All right. You gotta keep it from now till the Olympia. Okay. If you shave it again, you lose. I admit you said it was over. You did say that to me. I did, but I knew Nick wasn't gonna pay any of us because he doesn't do any bets properly. Well, how am I supposed to know that? You gotta tell me that. Well, you know Nick doesn't fucking he always welches on his bets. Why did what bet what bet have I ever watched Sean? Well, you owe us then. I'm out. Okay, then. <laughs> <Don't watch him. laughs> so does that mean we can shave now? No. Wait, I thought I had to grow my back. Well, if Nick lost, then the best. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm back in. I'm back in. You're not going to shave your beard anymore. If, if guys allow back in, then I'm back. In. Okay, you can get back in, but you can't right, shave right, your you beard. You can't trim it either. You can't. You can trim I'm here. it up. No, you can shape like here. No, you and can't here. trim. You yeah, can't you can't buzz it off. Yeah, you I'm, can like. I gotta trim under here though. No, but you gotta let this whatever on there. You gotta let it grow yeah. longer. Like That's you fun. can line. You can line. You can it like up. bring this down. Yeah. but you yeah, can't yeah, like yeah. The, the the beef. That's yeah. the beef. <laughs> you notice Fuad said you can line it up. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. He did. He goes, you can line it up right here. <laughs> oh, man. Jose, my fucking hair grows all the way up to your dude. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. I, I mine my... stops here. I got, yeah, those mine. I got those Arab jeans, man. It fucking shit grows right up to my fucking eyeballs. Yeah. What are they called? Moose knuckle jeans? Yeah, Arab moose, moose knuckles. knuckles. Yeah, big balls. It's called camel knuckle. Um, Okay, we have the Arnold UK, and now I'm 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 going back on my picks from last. Me too. Week. I'm going back too. I'm going back too. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? You can't. Well, yeah, we can. We said it was this what week was changing? the final. I want to know. We said this week was the final picks. Yeah. What are you changing? <sighs> well, uh, who did I ha- wait? I got to find where I have it. Um, I had James winning. Yeah. No. Mark second. Andrew third, Martin fourth, and Patrick fifth. 
Okay, what do you got? Uh, I'm not sure yet. One sec. I just want to pull up the... Uh... You got to pick. That it's the final. I know. <laughs> You're so bossy, Dick. <laughs> um, oh, I think James posted it, actually. Yo, I saw, I saw someone post it. It says Hassan's still in. Hassan's not in. Uh, I know He's I not? saw... I thought I saw Max Charles in there. Yeah. Really? So this is James. James posted this. James. So uh, I, sweet Max James. Charles, Max Charles, Patrick Johnson, Lionel Biecki. Who's this guy? I don't know. Rob Cannon. Who's that? Is that this? Rob Cannon is the white oh, guy. Oh, this guy's this guy's good too. Uh, I think his Chirac. name's Al- Alfred. Yeah, this guy, Alfred Chirac. He's really good. This guy, I don't know. That's Rob oh, Cannon. That's Rob Cannon. Yeah. Andrew Jack Martin. Mark Hector James and Jamie the Giant. So this gentleman is who? Uh, it doesn't say here. I don't think. Maybe he doesn't have Instagram. You know. Yeah, maybe he doesn't. Uh, okay. So I didn't know Max Charles was in it. That might throw something in the top five. Because I think Max might be able to beat Patrick, but I don't know. No. Yeah, I mean Patrick's going to be a lot bigger, and Max. They both have. If Patrick does have a weak point, which I'm not sure because I can't tell from the photos, it would be his back, but Max doesn't have a great back either, so that could be a toss-up. I want to take a look at Alfred uh, Chirac. Okay. Click his name. I did. He's a little smaller, but he's really good. Man, he's fucking peeled, I'll tell you that. Yeah. He's peeled, but he's he's a little smaller. Yeah, but he's round, Nick. <laughs> Nick just repeated he's got exactly. A great Nick just repeated exactly what Jose said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is him from the, this is him from the back. Got a good back. He's fucking shredded, man. Hey, he Gra- was good, bro. Grainy. But he might be he's 240 pounds at 57. That's not too small. small. That's my height. Yeah, I'm not saying he's your size, but 240 at 57 is not small. No, I'm small. just saying like that that's that's pretty big for 57. Yeah. He was it says here he I was, was 245 at the Olympia. It says here he was a 212 2 years ago. So he's put on like See? 20 That's why pounds, I said he was a little smaller. 20, 30 pounds of muscle, man. That's fucking pretty impressive. Yeah. He's well put together, too. Okay, so we take a look at Chirac. And then we have Max Charles. We know what Max looks like. We know what Patrick looks like. So we took out him, took a look at him last week. Andrew Martin. So we know what everybody else looks like. Uh, Rob Cannon, I don't know what he looks like right now. Let me see if I can go back to here because James has everybody tagged. Uh, Rob Cannon. <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, he was showing us his butthole. <laughs> striated. <laughs> okay, He's wait. I gotta ask. Him, I gotta ask Jose's opinion. Did you start a fire or something? What'd you do over there? Yeah, it's cold, man. I'm really jealous. You guys are sitting. My, Jose's got a fire my, pit out there too. My table's got a nice fire. You know what? I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna buy one of those tables so I can have a Come fire outside. This weekend, I'll light it. Huh? <laughs> Come over this weekend. I'll light it. I'm. I'm gonna buy a touring bike and I'm gonna ride to your house. How long would that take? What the fuck are you rolling your eyes at? Pick up last bite. <laughs> Pick up your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> What's with your hatred of motorcycles? It's something that makes me happy. What do you care? If you were doing something that made you happy, I wouldn't say anything. You could hurt yourself. You could hurt yourself shooting guns. I don't tell you not to shoot guns. I'm not going to die. You're, you could die in a motorcycle. Oh, you can't die shooting guns? How, who's going to die shooting a gun? Oh my God. This if somebody wants to turn it. Ooh, yeah. Do you have one of those light circles? No. I light got, rings? No, I got three like studio lights. Like they're oh, square. The ring light. How's the this ring? look? It's better. You look a little scary now. My cell phone. <laughs> you got a cell phone light. No, the fire light is good. It's romantic. All right. Okay. Let's take a look at Rob. What was I going to? Oh, I was going to ask you something. So, Jose. How do you feel about the ass shots that Ian posts? Because I know you like Ian a lot. The um, glute shots? Yeah. Does he post them naked? Yes. He does. I think he does it just to bother me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know that I've ever posted one of those. Um, are, you, are, you a, are you a fan? Of his ass shots? Of, of ass shots in general. Like guys who are like... Have to take off their trunks to show how shredded they are. 
<laughs> no, it's it's one of those things like painting your nails. I, I wouldn't do it, but you can go ahead. <laughs> you know, it's up to you. He, he probably gets a lot of more followers. There's no. A whole community of guys that love that shit. You think he gets you more followers to post without your underwear? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah? Yep. Guy, do you still get uh, gentlemen hitting on you all the time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I feel a little left yeah. out. They don't hit on me as much. I had, a, I had, a, I had, a, I, I posted a guy in my story a couple months ago. I had a black guy who literally sent me like his taint, his ball sack. Oh. He didn't want me to penetrate his butthole. <laughs> Gross. I, I posted it right to my story. I'm like, this is disgusting. You posted to your story. Yeah, that was actually me. I sent that to you. I put me. him on black. <laughs> Did you get shadow banned? Who? You. You for posting fucking balls and shit. No, I blurred some of the stuff out. Oh. Are you still shadow banned? Probably. Can why you, would you put? Why would you put them on blast? Who cares? Just delete it. Who would? Who sends their fucking butthole to somebody? He likes you. I don't I'll need. Send, to I'm going to send you my butthole. Did he think that you wanted to see it? I don't know, dude. Does it make you feel good in any way, shape, or form that men hit on you? No. Jose. Well, I'm kind of like you. I feel a little left out if they don't. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> You know, it, it it gets to be a little bit um, annoying because once you entertain them with, like, you try to be nice, like, oh, thanks, you know. Remember the foot guy from the podcast that was asking everybody for foot feet pics? Oh, remember that? He was no. telling us, this was a long time ago. Yeah. What are you he talking t- about? Really? This guy was messaging. He was emailing me. He's probably he was- going to email me now because he listens to the podcast say, thanks for mentioning me on the podcast because he's done that before, too. He was offering to make us shoes. And he was like, oh, could you, what size are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm a nine. He's like, okay, can you send me pictures of your feet? The bottom of your feet, the <laughs> top red, of your feet. That's a red flag right away. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, dude, you don't need pictures. I'm a nine. He's like, yeah, but I really need to see, you know, the angles of your feet. And I'm like, no, thanks. Um, and then he wanted to like know what hotel I was at. I've had, it's probably off. the same guy I had way back. How, how far back in the day was this? Oh, this is 10 years ago. It's probably the same fucking guy. Little white guy, like dirty blonde hair. You he's, met him? Well, I, did, I didn't he, meet he came him to the Dallas. He, he was at the Dallas Europa. He asked yeah, me. Yeah, he might have been. He was in person. He was asking me in person. You know what? Unlike you, I didn't agree to meet with him. I didn't meet <laughs> Well, how do you know exactly what he looks like? He was like? at the show. I didn't go to his hotel room. <laughs> Yo. Oh, right. He came to yours. <laughs> he, was at the sh- he was at the show, man. He's at the show. Yeah. I still remember, you know how. Um, and would he come up to you and say, "I'm the foot freak"? What? what? I, I don't remember. No, no. How he called. He called him? my hotel room. He called my hotel room. He called mine too. But it was the same. I know it's the same fucking guy because I could tell by his voice. You guys never. Every time I check into a hotel, I like the Olympia, the Arnold, or a show. I literally go if anybody calls and asks to speak with me. I said, I, I don't like. I don't accept phone calls. I don't do that because I don't think I'm that popular that I need to do that. Yeah, oh, I've always gotten weird Kim phone Kardashian. calls in my room. <laughs> what guy? What? You, you think you're fucking a Kardashian or something? No, right? you've got you you've all you've got called all my calls. You've never gotten called. You have, you've only gotten one call to your room. Yeah, yeah that, that one, one foot guy. Oh no, I've call. gotten I've gotten calls many times. No, you haven't. Come on. Okay, this fucking guy. I well, believe you're a little more. I don't get. I believe you. I was just saying no, but but tell me. Yeah. Oh, I have people call my room all the time, and say what? Just be fucking fans. I had fan. I had a fan slip a note under my door once. Are you said fucking serious? Swear to God. Yeah, it would trip me out. I, Wait I a it. second. I think I sent it to you. Oh, you, that was that. recently. Yes. See? Yeah, that's right. See, and you think I make this shit up? I just said to you, I believe you. I just want to know you what you're talking about. Brick. <laughs> yeah, that's creepy. That did happen. See, I, guy, I validate all my shit. Yeah, that did happen. Nick, have you? Do you change your name when you go to a hotel or no? I never I say, I change my name or, or tell them to say like you're not there. I say when we calls for my room, I, I'm like I don't accept phone calls. Whoever needs to call me has my cell phone number. I don't ever get anything. I feel left out. <laughs> I'm gonna have the foot guy call you. I know him. No, personally. please don't. <laughs> All right, let's go back. So okay, so Jose doesn't mind ass photos from men. Okay, that's fine. So uh, this is Rob Cannon. No. Yeah. I feel, yeah, like that's him. I feel like he's symmetrical, but too thin. Thin, yes. 
Is that accurate or is that just a bad photo of him? No, uh, he's a thick dude. In I can't. Person. I don't. You know, I I can't. I don't know. I don't notice I've, him here. I, I've never he seen him on stage, so that's why I'm saying I don't know if it's the photos. Like, is he thicker when he stands next to other guys? No. I know him personally. Like I've I've met him in person, so I yeah. know he is a thick guy. But in this lineup, it, he's he's you know he's in in over his head a little bit. But he's a he's a from the UK. So I'm trying to find a, like a, a a competition shot. There was a video of him, but you go back any farther, it's going to be 20 fucking... Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. I saw something here. What's right there, is? yeah. Oh, it's just a picture. Oh, I thought it was a photo. I think that's when he won, probably. Oh, it's a... Uh... Okay, well, we don't have to watch that. Okay. All right, so let's move on. Okay. What are we going to say? you had a glowing uh report about him what were you saying Ooh. you just said no <laughs> <laughs> nice guy you are this kid's busting his balls Listen, to get on the stage jose you nick have to know sees him, says nope jose you have to know something nick and ian are ruthless when it comes to physique well say one nice thing about him quickly nick we're gonna change a nice it. beard nice beard all right all right, All right. let's go. Let's go, guys. This is the final picks for the Arnold UK. Ah. So we have Mark Hector coming back after two years. He's put on 20. He's put on 20 pounds, maybe 30. Yeah. He said he was 240 last time he stepped on stage. He said he was going to be 265 on stage. <sighs> Another 25 pounds on a Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry-like physique. So James. I think, he, I think he's rounder. Up top, yeah. Well, some some shots, yeah. Um, James, who is has tons of muscle and should be grainy, but is a wild card because he's coaching himself this time, so we're not sure if he's going to be 100% or not. Didn't and, he say he wasn't sure, too, in the circles? Didn't he make a comment like that? Well, I think he said he was happy with how he looked, but he's trying a new approach, and he's going to see how it looks on stage. So I don't know if that means he's super confident. No, 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 or... no one's helping him. No, it seems like he's doing – I mean, I don't know if JP's keeping an eye on him because, like, him and JP, like, he goes to train at JP's, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But as far as anything else, I think he's just doing his own thing. I swear, as far as 10 days ago, he posted something and yeah. tagged Tory in it. Oh, Patrick Tour. Yeah. No, I don't – think... I, I, as far as I know, they're not working together on it. I don't know if he's keeping an eye on him, but – Yeah, I yeah. I think they still have a, a relationship, but – yeah. James is calling the shots. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, he looks like he's there. Like this was, this was how long ago? Six days ago. So that would have been two weeks out. Like he looks like he could be there. You know what I mean? So there's James, and then we have Andrew Jack, who is only going to improve from his last showing. If he comes in more shredded, will be hard to beat. And then you guys have said that Martin is going to be much better than he was in. Uh, Texas. Yeah. To me, to me, those are the top four. That's what I think. And then we have, yeah, your order? We have Jamie Joe Hall, Alfred, Alfred, Max, or Patrick for fifth. What's your order? Uh, <laughs> what's your fucking order? <laughs> you go first. I'm starting to think Andrew's gonna win. Huh. And who's I second? Who had copies me quite a bit? I'm noticing. Shut the fuck up, Jose. <laughs> You you just went and read my section, and you're like, I think Andrew. Uh, what's Jose say? Andrew, James, Martin, Hector. No, I wouldn't do that. That's not what I would do. But you are brilliant. You are a, a brilliant bodybuilding mind. So if I had to copy somebody, it would be you. You're but, an idiot wrapped in a moron. But Perfect. I, I wouldn't copy these picks. Jose had Andrew, James, Martin, Hector. I think it's going to be another Patrick. showdown between Andrew and Martin. No. Yes. Hector is going to be first or second place. Mm. Mark Hector will either beat Andrew or he will be in second place. I think his upper body will, will, will rival pretty much anyone. And I think all those guys you named have awesome legs. And that's, that's where it's going to throw him problem. off. 
Yeah. He's going to be I, a bit unbalanced compared to those guys. This, this shot threw me off a little bit when I saw it. That's why I decided to change my picks because I feel uh, like as, I feel like as he gets closer, he's going to lose even more. The legs are kind of losing a little bit, but he's also really, really flat here. So I don't know. Um, I also think 265 on stage is a bit uh, hopeful. Over well, sure. I don't know. I don't know, uh, Jose. He said when I had him on the podcast last week, he said he was 271. Wow. And he said he was pretty close to ready. So they expected to be 263, 265 on stage. All right. And I guess so, in, if, you, if you look at this condition, I would believe that it's another, you know, five to five to eight pounds, you know, like if you look wow. at this. Um, he said that when he had posted this photo, this was at 271. Yeah. And he looks it, but is yeah. there any pitches from behind? I have one from behind that I can't post. How's it look? <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, what's, what's your opinion? How much can he take off? That? I, I think he's, I think he's pretty accurate in his 63, 65 number. Wow. That's pretty yeah. impressive. That's what I'm saying. I don't think the pictures are doing him justice. Like I know, I know Mark is a very wide guy and like, he's also, you can see this is a stage shot at 240. He's very fucking round. This is at 240. Like imagine this with 25 pounds on it. Yeah. Like, I think, I think Mark's going to be hard to beat. And one of these, you can see the skin. These are today. You can see the skin texture too is getting like it's starting to get grainy, and as he fills out, that's only going to get grainier. When's the show? Saturday. Saturday. That was today. Yeah. <clears throat> like this is thin. Like that's thin skin, man. And when you look over here, see that vein there in his TFL, get a little bit of graininess in the quad. Like this is only going to get sharper as he fills out, if they time it right. He's got striations going from the bottom of his chest up to his goddamn neck in that shot. Well, by far, his chest and shoulders are going to be the best in the show. Like, in my opinion, his chest and shoulders are for sure going to be the best. I mean, Andrews will definitely rival them, but his shoulders are fucking wacky, man. And his chest is super thick and they're just strided all the way up and down. So his chest and shoulder, and then his back, I would probably say is going to be the widest in the show. I don't know if it'll be the thickest in the rear double, but I know his back width is crazy because his, <coughs> his clavicles are just really wide. So I know his back lat spread will be crazy, but then it depends on if his hamstrings can match up. The back shot I saw was impressive, but I couldn't really tell too much from the hamstring area because of the angle of it. So I don't know. What do you think, Jose? I'm going to go with Andrew only because I think James is kind of doing an experiment. Yeah. And that's not always uh, a, a good thing. Yeah. I, I think it's good that he's learning his body and learning on his own. But I don't know that this weekend will be the perfect package for him. Um, but I think he's on stage. He's so thick everywhere that it, that's going to carry him a long way. Mm. But I think Andrew is really just so big and pretty. And he's got to be better conditioned than he was in Texas. Yeah, and I mean, you you would you would hope, yeah. Yeah, and I think we got to remember spent- too. I don't think we thought he was doing this either up until last week. But I think he, and I, I'm just I'm, this is total speculation. I, I have no inside information, but I'm assuming he probably kept going as if he was going to do the show. Yeah, I also think that he got so much criticism for his presentation that he must have spent a lot of time on that. Well, and, and, and the only real, like the only real thing people could pick out that wasn't there was his conditioning. So he's probably yeah. been working on conditioning and presentation for the last eight weeks or whatever it's been. Right. Andrew. Uh, so yeah. if, if he's even 5% better, that's going to look crazy. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to stick with my Andrew, James, Martin, Mark. Andrew. James, Martin, Mark, and then who are you going to put in fifth? Alfred, Patrick, Max, Jamie. Lyle As Bick. Guy says, Patrick is going to be a black horse. He's going to be <laughs> the, the one that we uh, 
we, we don't know because that kid is so freaky impressive. <laughs> and if he brings it, he's hard to beat. That All that muscle. Yeah. Isn't that what you call him, guy? Yeah. That's, Extra. That's the black horse of the show. Extra black horse. It's going to be Patrick. Guy, do you have a do you have a picks you want to make or you want to keep the ones from last week? I had what? Mark. You had James, Mark, Martin, Andrew, Patrick. Ugh. I think it's a bad one, dude. I shouldn't yeah. say anything because I want you to lose, but yeah. I don't think Andrew's gonna be the fourth. No, take <laughs> scratch all that nonsense. Why did you have him in fourth? I don't know. Cause I because it he it it was that he was just back in it. And I said he might you would just be in a contrarian. That's <laughs> whatever we wanted you were like no 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 that's yeah. how this show is though guy or jose somebody on the show has to be the country don't ever do that again <laughs> shut up <laughs> call me guy that's that's guy. guy's got many talents you know you should he be does. nicer to guy the end of the world comes around i'm going to fucking guy's house i love guy mm. but that's a um you know i have problems myself <laughs> <laughs> clearly what are you eating, Nick? What? What are you eating? Hold on. Some chicken, some almond butter, a little pink salt. I'm chicken. waiting for Mustachio to pop out of the back there. Where the <laughs> hell is he? He's, he's not here. He's on the casting couch. <laughs> Why isn't he there? He comes back tomorrow. I love that name, Mustachio. All right. <laughs> Guy, let's go uh, back. We haven't even put a bet on this. Well, I have to think about that while Guy makes his picks. No, it there's no bet. There's no bet. Why does it take you so long? I would because now I'm like Mark, Martin, Andrew. But uh, you think Martin's that good, eh? Yeah. Why would Martin? I look. I think Martin's good too. But why would Martin beat Andrew if Andrew just beat him and they're both going to be better? Because I've seen pictures. Oh really? Okay, tell me you this. You forgot. Me and Martin are best friends now. I know. What the fuck happened there? You guys <laughs> You guys are so funny. You know what's fucking hilarious about you guys? You're both this, idiots. This is how bodybuilders are. If you say you one me, idiot. if you say one nice thing about them, like, oh, you know what? That guy's not that bad. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. That's all it takes. <laughs> um, okay, so the pictures you saw, how was he 5% better than Texas? 10% better than Texas? Is he more shredded from the I'm gonna, He's definitely harder and leaner, and his legs are a lot bigger and fuller. Really? W yeah. Would you be afraid to stand next to him? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Well, but then, then how would... Then but I'm not afraid to stand next Andrew? to him. How's he going to beat Andrew then? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm not afraid of standing next to Andrew. I know that. I we but... didn't say that. No. We just Pay said. Attention. We just said that um, Andrew beat him. Yeah, but what if what if? Andrew Wait a minute. Not... I'll ask you this: Who do you think has a higher potential at the Olympia? <clears throat> Andrew. Then why would you pick Martin? For the upset. <laughs> You're just going to be the contrarian. <laughs> yes. Because you know why you're doing that? Because. If you're wrong, nobody cares. But if you're right, you look like the smart one. Exactly. That's why you're doing it. Wait, what's are we are we not betting? Well, let's think about the bets after. Just make your picks. Yeah, hey, what's your pick, guy? <sighs> Let me hear I'm gonna, yours. I'm gonna go. We're, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Read, read mine again, real quick. Mark, Andrew, James, Martin, Patrick. You had Martin in fourth. Now you're picking him to win. I you, must have, you must have saw some really good win. picks. I didn't say when. Well, if he's going to beat Andrew, who the fuck is going to beat both of them? Mark? Um, I do what I'm going to do. James, James is such a wild card. I think that's the only reason we're all having a little bit of a tough time because of his... Yes. He is. Yes, yeah. he is. Because yes. of his but own I think, I think James on stage, he needs to be on stage next to people. The pitchers don't do him justice. Yeah. I think he's so big and so freaky round and big and grainy. Even if I he's just, not 100%, he's going to beat a lot of guys. I'm just kind of with you on that one, Jose. I feel like the experimentation is a tricky one to it is. base a bet on. 
but Look, I still think, uh, do I want I him to win? Do I want him to win? Yes. If it was my emotionally, I want James to fucking kill the whole show. So yeah. here's the thing, Fuad. The last time he made a mistake, he made it on the other end where he was way flat. Yeah. This time he's not going to make that mistake. He yeah. may be too full. Yeah. And in a little softer, but I'd rather see him too full than flat. I think yeah. both. I think both hurt James. Honestly, I think James has a kind of physique, and and I'd be both ways. And I'm only saying I'm only saying this because this I was like this too. A judge actually told me this. He's like, your physique, if it's not within two percent of like being ready, is shit. Pretty much is what he said. Nice and I'm, not, and, I'm, and I'm not saying that's James, but I'm saying I feel like James to actually look like he can destroy everybody has to be in that like really close I, ballpark of being dead on. I think that there's I think there's guys that if they're two percent off, they they don't they look like shit. And then there's guys that can pull off a win at two yeah. percent off. Yeah, I think you James is one of those like, guys. Like if I was two percent off, I looked like dog shit. But if like a Flex Lewis was two percent off, he could still beat ninety nine point nine percent of everybody. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. I think James has to be on if he's going to win the show. He can't he can't win the show if he's off in it in any way, shape, or form. That's why I have him in sec. Yeah. Go ahead, Nick, or guy who was picking next. Somebody was going to pick Nick. You were going to go. Nick. I'm thinking, Dick. Okay, I'll go then. Take your time, Nick. Uh, I'm going to go Andrew. No, I'm going to go Mark. Andrew. Martin. James. It's in England. Patrick. So, what's your point? You think that matters for James? I think so. Listen, I don't. I don't want to look. I don't want to put him in fourth. I just feel like if Nick is saying Martin's harder than fucking Texas, that's going to be fucking crazy. And Brent Branch is going to peak him right, man. And Andrew, I think, is going to be too wide for James if he's in shape. And then I'm just really impressed with Mark. Now, Mark's legs scare me a little bit because Andrew's got such good legs that I feel like it might make Mark look weak in some shots because Andrew's legs are so fucking big and James on the other hand too like that's another bonus point for James like James's legs are also going to be massive so that yeah, might... how's do you think Andrew's back is going to improve that much I if it's think, a little more conditioned I think Andrew's back and Mark's back will be equal in the back that will buy I think Martin probably has the most complete back of all of them what i'm saying but mark mark probably has the widest back in a lat spread it's really tough they all have like some serious strong points in my this, opinion, is hard, this is a hard show to do yeah in my opinion i think martin's the overall complete one so why don't we pick that so who has who has the most weaknesses let's start there so if we pick um, if we pick mark's weaknesses we're saying his legs might be a little downsized right that's one of his weaknesses you saw his back shot right yeah. Like the whole back. It pretty much, yeah. I mean how's his how's his hamstrings? I wouldn't say they're a dominant part, but they didn't look weak. Okay. Okay. But are they deep? There was some deep. separation, but the thing is, that's why I said I couldn't tell too much because it was a little bit dark. Like it was brighter from the top and then got darker as you went down. So yeah. I couldn't yeah, I couldn't yeah, see yeah. really clearly. But it looks like like his glutes had striations, so it looks like they're going to be in shape, and it looks like there's going to be separation in his hamstrings. I just don't know. I couldn't tell how like thick they were from the shot I saw. Uh, back wise, in a back double, I might compare it to Andrew from what I saw, but a back lat spread, I think I might give to Mark. But then if we're going with if we're going with if we're going with like weaknesses, I think Andrew has the least amount of weaknesses. All right, I check your phone. Would you guys agree with that? No, I think Martin has the least amount of weakness. You think Martin has the least amount of weaknesses? Yes. Yeah, but he's also the smallest one. Yeah, but if we're going to talk about weaknesses. No, no, but being the smallest guy is would, would be a weakness, no? Yes, but I don't – Martin's not that small. Wow. I just saw Martin's legs. Yeah, bro. 
He probably sent you the picture I saw. Fucking yeah. wild. <laughs> Close up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what sent it to me, guy. Yeah. Yeah, pass it around. I'm I'm actually kind of Oh you have it, Jose. Or uh Nick. I have it, but Jose wants to see it. Yeah, okay. You know what? This is gonna be just like the Olympia. It's gonna be so hard to place people. So I think you just gonna have to go off your gut. So I'm gonna go. I'm going to go back against what I said. Well, this is what? Oh, well, I said Mark, Andrew, Martin, James, Patrick. Okay. And I'm going to go Andrew first. Okay. Because I think his legs are going to expose Mark. And I think his overall width is going to expose James. And I think his overall size is going to expose Martin. Okay. So I think Andrew has the least amount to worry about. I think from there, I'm going to go Mark. I don't know. Fuck. Mark or Martin. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I'm going to go Mark. Uh, fucking James. It's just a wild. I, I think oh. Martin can. I th look, I love, I love James, but I think Mark or uh, Martin can beat him. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. James is I don't really think so thick. Yet. James is really thick, dude. It just if he it only my only reservation is if he comes peeled. That's my only reservation. Go with your gut. My gut says Andrew, Mark, Martin, James. Go with it. I want to hear guys pick. Guy. Ah, this sucks. I want I want guy to go before me. I'm gonna go because I I think me and him are gonna have the same pick. Mark Martin. Mark what? Martin. That's <laughs> um, and I want to say James Andrew, but I I I'm just stuck. no, I wasn't gonna do that. Andrew, uh, I was gonna well, do Andrew James. I'm just, well, that's where I'm. That's where I've been stuck. Okay, so Nick, you're going. Mark. Nick, Martin. you go one way, I'll go the other. I don't care which one. I'm going to go Mark, Martin, Andrew, James. That's how I was going to go, so we could just flip flop mine. You guys are fucking crazy. Look, man. <sighs> so, so uh, Guy, you're going Mark, Martin, James. This new phone is awesome. Andrew. What new phone is that? It's the 14. What's so awesome about it? Is it just a better camera? Yeah, I mean, it's like really clear here, man. It does look what? really clear. I can see in your nose. You know why I had to get a new phone? Listen to this fucking shit, right? Did you I didn't realize you this it? whole time I didn't have, like, service, right? Yeah. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym with Kamal, but we, we were going to a different gym today because I wanted him to check this gym out because it was really cool. Yeah. And I can't plug my navigation in. Cause there's no, there's no internet connect. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I go back in that. I had no bars. There's no bars. So I go back in my house. Mm. I still have no bars, but I have internet. Like it's working. Yeah. So what I did was I just plugged the the directions to the gym in my phone in the house. So I went into the car and it worked. Yeah. I was able to get there. I got home. I went to the the phone store, and they couldn't repair it. They said your your phone burned out. Like, how the fuck does a phone burn out? Yeah. I've had it for a year. Maybe you're, doing, you're watching too much porn on it. Yeah, maybe. I did do that. <laughs> so you got a 14. Yeah. All right. 14 you... Pro? Yeah. Is that the big one or the smaller one? It's I got it. It's, it's a big one. Yeah. It's I can't 1600 do the big one. I can't do the big one, man. You carry on this fucking like mini iPad with yeah, you. Yeah, but I got really fat fingers. It, I have to. I yeah, I mean, I'm the same, Nick. Really? I like putting I the shit in my pocket little. sometimes. I have a fucking big ass phone. Yeah, but like I said, I got really fat. I'll hit like 30 buttons at once. That's small. Guy, you got the big one? Which one's that? The 13? This is a 13. I'm getting, I want to get the 14 this week. Is it worth it? I like it, yeah. I can't tell the difference between 12, 13, 10. It's just a better camera. That's all you got to get. Got to get the, the, the best, the, the best one, though, because the, 
the guy told me there was no difference between like the iPhone 13 Pro Max, whatever it is, versus yeah. the regular iPhone 14. Like you got to get the best, the top. <clears throat> of course you do, fucking assholes. Yeah. Bro, oh, you mean the big one? Yeah. So I got the big one. Nick, I was meaning to ask you about something, but I can't find it anymore. I don't think it's here. What? Nick, how's your, Nick how, the big one. How's your new car? I love it, bro. No, you don't. What'd you get, Nick? Tell me I I'm have... right. Tell me it was too small. No, nah, not at all. But what'd you get? You're, you're full. I got a 2023 uh, BMW X6. 2023 already? Yeah. Well, They're yeah, I was. Yeah. they don't make the 2022 anymore. So when I went into, I was going to buy one. They didn't. They make them no more. They didn't have any in the the store, so I had to order one. That's a beautiful car, the X6. I love it. I hey. Absolutely. Love it. Is it all okay. pimped out with the exhaust and, and yeah, black on black? It's ph- phenomenal. I'm paying oh, too good much money. For you. What is it? One hundred and ten. Yes. Yeah. It's too small for a guy your size, man. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's decent size. Jose, stay out of this. <laughs> it's 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 good size it would fit i love it me and guy could both sit in the front seat you guys are not 290 pounds together we are together <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right so the picks are in i think i'm gonna win this one you you're not i'm for sure gonna win this one. <laughs> no you know what we haven't done a bet with jose yet we should do a bet no, no, not this one. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, is, uh, this no. is the best one because nobody, anybody could be wrong. Bro, we already have a bet going. <laughs> this is a different one. I think, I think the loser should have to paint their nails for a week. Who's judging? I'm out. No. Who's judging, no. Who's judging the show? I don't know. Is Steve? I don't Do know. You know. One day. Tired? One day. Come on. We're gonna one paint. Day. We're gonna paint our nails for one 20. day. No. Uh, um, one day, one week. You're crazy. One day is fucking bullshit. You just stay home all day. No, I'll go out. Facts. Facts. One week. What do you think, Jose? I'll do it on my off day. Paint the nails for a week. Yeah. Do it on a Sunday. You got to paint your nails and leave it for a week. No way, Jose. Oh man, <laughs> a week. Come on, you <laughs> pussies. Look it, I can't get any. I can't get any uglier. I already got this shit on my head. I might as well paint my nails. I'm doing it for a week, man. I have to work. Yeah, oh, wait. <laughs> this is hilarious to me right now. This I have to prove to my goddamn point. I'm not. I, I said I'd do it. I gotta do YouTube you, videos. You go from your house to your motorcycle to your gym. <laughs> you don't see any other humans. Nick fucking sits around and eats and goes straight to the gym with Kamal. <laughs> Guy fucking hunts deer and, and blow torches his lawn. Yeah, that's right. Jose has to see the most people. It'd be the worst. Yeah, for him. I interact with a lot of people every day. Yeah, so you know what? I mean, like you know, supporters. They're like his fingernail. If you have supporters that are gonna unfollow you because your fingernails, then they're not supporters. Right. One one day. All if right. you said you're against it and then you have to do it, they might. <laughs> All right. I'll paint one, just the thumbnail. <laughs> How about that? Okay. I'll, I'll paint the thumbnail and put an orange H on it. For one month. What? For one month. <laughs> if it's only, if it's only one, it's only one nail. It only lasts a couple days. It's not going to last a okay, month. You got to leave it until it like wears off. So it falls off. Right, what'd you put in your mouth? Me? Yeah. A, a zin. Uh, what's a zin? Why not just use dip? What's that? Because I quit. It's safer. It's the same shit. No, no. No, what's... it's not. What is zin? Tell me. Zin, it's a, zin. It's a pouch. Zimbabwe. A nicotine pouch like this. So what's the difference between that and chew? It doesn't get all over your mouth. It doesn't have fiberglass in it that rips your gums apart and gets the shit in it it's so it's just, just a, a health pouch. it's a healthier way to chew you mean yeah it's just a nicotine pouch do you smoke it really all? healthy though do what do you smoke at all jose no i hate smoke do you smoke cigars oh you just hate mm-hmm. smoke period yeah i don't like the smell the taste the... Uh, okay hmm. i did for years when i was younger did you really really yeah Cigars or cigarettes? What the fuck are you doing? No, weed. I smoked weed. Oh, you smoked weed. 
from probably 10 years old to 30 years old. Him? Did you do you party a lot? Did you ever party a lot or no? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, oh the, yeah, yeah. Why did you trail yeah. off there? Why did you trail <laughs> off there? What happened? <laughs> well, cuz anyone that knows me, um I was never like a club guy. Yeah. But but I I would go to a bar or, or just chill and pound beers and yeah, sit by a campfire and I've seen Jose. I've seen Jose uh, on a few occasions. And like what's he oh, pounding? Like a case of beer, oh, half case? A oh, I can drink. Yeah. Yeah. But it gets fucking funnier. Fuck, that sounds oh, like fun. He gets laugh. I, I have videos England. of him. Remember, Jose, we gotta go? Jose, we gotta make a trip to Guy's house and we'll have a few drinks. Let's do it. Day. Nick? Well, Nick's in, pre- Nick's in prep. You can't do shit. Oh, yeah, come over this weekend. <laughs> Why do you All keep right. doing that? It's like three days away. So how far is the trip to Guy's house from your house, Jose? Five and change. Driving? Five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking nothing. I do that like no problem. Come on. How far are you? Me? It's like, dude, it's here. You probably 12. Yeah, it's at least 12. Stop being uh, that's that's far. New Jersey. Yeah, I gotta make a trip to Guy. Come I'm going, I'm going away in two weeks. I'm going to Buenos Aires. In Brazil, where? Which? I don't give me your address. Give me a give me a, a location in New Jersey. Branchburg. Branchburg, New Jersey. All right. He, he bought a house in Branchburg for nine his nine and, and a half hours. Brother. That's, That's not pretty, bad. Not bad. Do it. Stop being a pussy. Nine and a half. When I get my bike, when I get my touring bike. That's pretty long. You could cut that down to seven on your bike. Yeah, for sure. What's I gotta, tw- I gotta make a trip out there anyway. There's a, there's a really cool, uh, riding area I want to go to that's near there. What, what's a touring bike? Why, why? <laughs> well, it's, it's a, just, big, it's a, it's a bigger bike. It's Thor. got a radio ah. on it and shit and foot warmers. Check this out, Nick. A giant yeah. back seat. With, he can bring his wife. No, no, she won't ride with me. It's gonna be by myself. She won't get on the back. No, she doesn't. She's doesn't trust me. Check this oh, those thing are sharp out. looking. Look at that fucking badass bike. So stupid. Uh, what you, you say, can Nick? put all your toiletries in there. <laughs> you put all your toiletries. <laughs> yeah, your you, you <laughs> fucking toothbrush and your. This is a badass your, fucking your look toothbrush at and your hair products. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What yeah. is that? What is that? Um, this is ball sweet shaving as fuck. company you support. Manscaped. Manscaped. You put my put trimmer. Shit I put my trimmer in one side and put my yeah. promo code quad right. twenty. <laughs> anyway, that's a touring bike. Yeah, they're like how much are those? How much are those? That one I just showed is fifty-five grand Canadian. Oh, okay. Nick, yeah. forget about that for at least another five or six years. Yeah, it's not allowed to have one. No. Do you, you actually be. want to get a bike, or are you just saying that? No, I do. Yeah. Do you really? I've always wanted a bike. Guy, why are you so mad at bikes? Is it why is such a why is why do you because the guy ran into his car on one? Oh, that's right. <laughs> People drive like assholes on those things. All right. Um let's do some questions. You heard about the guy blocking traffic, Jose, right? Hey, how's Ian looking? Have you seen oh you don't I, live near him, right? You always, you always ask about Ian. What's what's your obsession with Ian? I'm curious. His I just want to know. Ass? Huh? Is it because he shows his ass? He shows his ass. You like the shit? It's because of his ass. No, you want to know why? I met well, Ian and his wife, and I gotta say, his wife is probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. Yeah. yeah. In in like outgoing, friendly, and gigantic. She, I mean, I'm a midget, but gigantic. I must have been up to her hip. She's like five ten, five nine. She's taller, yeah. She's taller, and yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, she is one of the nicest people. I mean, guy knows too. We all hung out, Nick. Yeah, I girl. love Melissa. She's awesome. Oh, yeah. She's she's amazing. And yeah, Ian's fucking cool. He gets it. He's uh, but you seem to have like a, a little bit of an obsession with with Ian, and all of the fans keep bugging me. No, they to, bug to have, me. No, they're bugging me. They keep. Like, yeah. What's Ian. wrong with you, Fuad? Have them on the same podcast. <laughs> keep. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like to get into it with Ian. I want to. I want to rile him up a little bit. I want to see how uh, how crazy he. Can he doesn't go. need any more rallying up. Yeah, Trust you're me. gonna. That, yeah, that'll be real good. 
He's just already a fireball dude. Poke the bear in the cage. That's <laughs> smart, Fouette, you idiot. We would have great conversation. Yeah, you would have. Listen, Ian, you have great conversation, but if you're trying to rile him up, it's not hard. It's just a couple couple tweaks here and there. You just have to tickle him. <laughs> when you ask, when you ask who's going to win this show, he would come out so quick. He yep. wouldn't do this. Oh, let me think a while. He would spit out exactly what every one of these guys has the weaknesses their strengths yeah. and why they're gonna beat each other yeah i just did that why don't you date them i just did that that's why i picked what i picked and you you right. picked what you picked but my picks are gonna beat yours not even close hey what i got my blood i got my blood results back yeah i guarantee you Perfect. he would say that mark hector's not winning the show yes well i didn't pick mark to win the show yeah, no, did. he said Ian no, I didn't. That. no, I didn't. I picked Andrew to win the show. Pick Mark. Oh, you went back on it. Well, I said to you, I'm going to go back because I, I labeled, I went down their weaknesses and I said, Andrew's legs are going to make Mark, are going to hinder Mark's chances to win. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So I got Andrew, Mark, Martin, James. And I went through and I said each of their weaknesses mm. and why I All put right. them there, which is what you just said. I will give you this. Ian would, Ian does it like off the top of his head. It's like, he's already thought of it. Of course he has. <laughs> he wants to compete against all those guys. So he knows yeah. what yeah. their strengths are. Yeah. Um, Is there a game on tonight, Jose? Tuesday night? Yeah. No. No. There was Monday. two on last night. Threw me off. I thought it was Monday, Monday, Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Last night they had two on. It confused the shit out My of me. My fantasy football is up two to nothing. Hey, I haven't started watching football yet, but somebody said something about Amazon now hosting th Thursday night Thurs football. Thursday night football. Is that and people are mad about it for some reason? Why? Oh, because they don't have Amazon. Is that why? Yeah. Just so you have Amazon. to watch it. It's not on TV. No, it's on um, Amazon. I heard. It's on Amazon and probably uh, the NFL Network. What? It's not on have, ESPN. Do you have Amazon? It's on your remote, probably. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so. I got it. I'm so bad with the TV with that. No, sorry, shit. I meant I meant guy. Guy's like the worst person ever with the TV remote. He's like a fucking eighty year old man. You certainly have Amazon. He has ADHD. That's why. How much football do you watch, Jose? All of it. You do, don't you? I wish I was still like that. I used to watch. Oh, I got a little turned off though lately, bro. Or like this why? year, I've been watching. I watch more this year than I have in the past. What, tur what turned you off? The politics? Let me guess. Um. That. Well, actually, no. It started with so many, and and, and I, there's so many arguments that people make of this, but they they really changed a lot of the rules. And like how the players can actually play the game and who's protected more and who, I mean, I've, I've watched games where the quarterback gets literally a finger to the helmet and there's flags. It's just, it's like a titty bumping match. It gets, I, I, it just, they just, they don't let him play. Not that I agree with that, but do you disagree that the, the quarterback should be protected more than the rest of the players? I yes. feel like if you have the ball, you should give it like, it's fucking no holds bars. You get take, taken out. I feel so, like the, I feel like the quarterback deserves a little bit more protection. If you're if you got the ball in your hand, it's like kill the man with the ball. <laughs> like, well, no, no, you can't. They're paying these guys forty five, fifty yeah, million. dollars I think they have year. to protect the the NFL as a whole, not just the teams. Have to protect their investment. But can't you so, make the argument that like if you're playing, if you're if you're paying somebody that much money, that you they should play at a hundred percent? Not well. Listen, the argument you're making is a purist argument. You're like, look, this is the purity of the game. Everybody's yeah. equal, right? But that's the same argument Ian was making when he talks about should we have a 212? Like it's a the, business. Like the reason we have a 212 is because it's entertainment, it's a business, it allows more people to funnel into the sport, and it's not just a one open class. Yeah, but now, but now you're comparing, like you're playing all at once to, to, to different. That's you know, no, 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 no. But what I'm saying is it's entertainment, right? So this is the same thing. You have a, you're protecting the quarterback a little bit more than everybody else because he is your franchise player. Right, like you don't want Tom Brady getting his fucking head taken off, and then being pulled off on a stretcher when that's, you know, the most. Well, can I, guys, I don't you think he's more protected when he's got fucking a line in front of him? <laughs> like, well, of it's course. the same reason, Fuad, that Derek got an invite to the Open because it's a business, and Derek's a franchise player, and he's right. got to be there. He's got to be there for entertainment value for this show to be its best. It's interesting you brought that up, actually. I totally forgot about that because we talked about it on the last podcast, but I want to know what you guys think. I, think I mean, you kind of you kind of already said it, Jose, but yeah. is that... You're totally okay with it? Yeah. 
I'm okay with it. I think he belongs there. Now, the only the only thing that so I'll I'll say two things. It totally doesn't bother me at all because I think if they do one special invite a year for whatever circumstance, it's fine. The only thing that bothers me about it is Kamal put his foot forward and did the open shows and didn't qualify, and now he's left out in the cold. Well, here's Ar- the difference. Too. Arguably, could have won. Here's the difference. Like Derek's 28 years old, yeah. and he's growing out of his freaking. Skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. it wouldn't be healthy we wouldn't see the best Derek Lunsford if he sucked down to 212 again yeah it wouldn't it where yeah. Kamal can be 212 and still be yeah incredible yeah where yeah. Derek is just he's outgrown it he's, but how do you but how do you feel about that specifically the fact that Kamal tried to do the open didn't win and now he has no special invite he gets nothing he kind of took himself out of the running so by is your by placing second. That- I use your argument that the fact that Derek had time to do an open show and chose not to should be the determining factor. Okay, wait. Well, I want to clarify for people watching. I'm not, that's not my argument. It's just, I'm just playing devil's advocate because I, 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 yeah, yeah. I honestly, I think it's totally awesome that people get, I'm not against a special invite at all. When Rami got one, when Flex Lewis got one, when Derek now has one, like I'm not against that shit. Like I think it's good for the sport, for the fans. I don't care. So that's my position. But, just to take the other position for conversation's sake, Kamal put his foot forward, didn't get the fucking win, and now doesn't get to go to the Olympia as an open athlete. Derek has many chances to qualify, not doing any shows. You're just going to walk on stage. Is that fair when you have a previous Mr. Olympia and Kamal not winning and then not getting an invite, but actually trying to win? No, well, a lot of things in bodybuilding aren't fair. So, Good answer. You know, there's one invitation hmm. they gave it i think they gave it to the right guy yeah I would and, agree and, with that. and here's the thing i would have had no problem with kamal winning that show against uh akeem yeah and at at which point then you can talk about should they be able to compete in both let yeah, me ask well, you a question then. is it the same thing <clears throat> oh giving derek that what's the difference between giving derek a special invite and sean who's qualified for both and telling him he's got to pick or choose i think it's wrong well i don't agree with that either Okay. Yeah. Then that should, okay. Yeah, Sean should be able to do both. Like, if you've qualified in both, you should be able to do both. I if you're giving that. a special invite to Derek, and then and then Sean's asking to do both, and you're not allowing it. I mean, how many athletes there, or how many athletes there are qualified to do both? I mean, look. Ultimately, the Olympia brand is making a big mistake and not capitalizing on putting the top three bodybuilding classes together on a stage to, to compete against each other. Yeah. Like at the end of the show, the open 212 and classic competitors should all be on stage together together yeah. because that I, I'm positive. That's what everybody wants to see. And it would, it would draw, it would be a huge fucking thing for people. And I don't know why the Olympia doesn't do it. Maybe they're scared that, Maybe they're scared the 212 guy will look better than the open guy. Maybe they're scared the classic guy will look better than the open guy. I don't know. But I think it would be uh, something everybody – I can't. I haven't heard from one person who thinks it's a stupid idea or doesn't want to see it. It's not so, a stupid idea. Yeah. It's an idea I never thought of. Yeah, but we've said it on this podcast. Yeah, no, no, I, I'm prior yeah. to that. Yeah. Um, okay, so you think – everything's up on the up and up with Derek just because it's in the best interest of the fans. Is that kind of where you're coming from, Jose? It's the best interest of everybody, but Ian, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know, Ian and Kuklo, Kuklo's not qualified, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, I understand why I think those Ian, guys I might think, be upset. I think Ian's just a really principled person. Yeah. And he's like, look, there's shows to qualify at. You should, you should qualify like everybody else. Which, does, does, is, does which is a good, which, which, sorry, what's that, Nick? Does Kuklo have enough points? I don't know who what the point standings are right now. We'll look them up. Because I know, I know Justin's doing it off points. Olympia point standings. I don't know if this will come up, but 2022 standings. Okay, qualified are all these guys. Points. Uh, Andrea Muzi has 29. Oh. Theo Laguerre has 28. Justin Rodriguez has 26. Is it the top three that go from points? I thought top it was two. Top five. I thought top it was three? two now. 
I oh, thought it was two. I thought it was a top two now. No. No, top three or five? Wait, of what? The points, the people, points, people the in the points. points standing. It was five. Now I think it's three. Okay, so three. So that means Steve's out. Jesus Christ. Unless he does a show, right? Because we have Justin, Theo, and Andrea. There's too many, so many people this year. Yeah, look at this fucking lineup, man. Look at all these guys. Look who's on top, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean, they have Sean Clarita op- in the open. Is that? Yeah, he's this qualified. is the open list. Yeah, he's qualified. Yeah, he's also in the two twelve though. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so is the uh, Angel Calderon. Yeah. Some some of these guys, I'm not sure how they qualified. To be honest. Anyway, um, okay, let's do some questions. Yeah, we'll, go. It- we'll do a couple. We really should do more questions. There's like 190 fucking questions. Do a here. couple, then. Yeah, Let's Bob. do them. All right. What's the most cows everyone is? We're going to go rapid fire. What's the most calories everyone's eaten in one day? Never counted. Yeah. 17,500. Jose. No so, uh, do you want to try it again? I do want to try it again. I think I could do it. Jose, uh, or what? You've I got a film it. for my YouTube. You want to do it together? Do what? What are you going to do? 20, 10 calories. You're not going to do 10, 20. And 10 is a joke. Really? 10 is a joke. 5,000 is one meal for me. 15. What? <laughs> I love it when he says what. Oh, fuck that. What? What? You don't, you don't have a big appetite, Jose? Not like that. 5,000 calories is not a lot, man. It's like a large pizza, some wings, and a I would just sit at the Cheesecake Factory all day. Yeah, that would be good. You know, takeout food's got the, high, the most calories. I could do 5,000 in a day. 5,000 is no. one meal. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would have to shit my pants like immediately. Yeah, you take yeah. a couple shits that day, but Ugh. what's the most calories? Well, you did, you eat, did you eat like all day? Like there was no yeah. stopping? No, I, t- I took a pretty long break after the pasta, pasta dish. Really? That was a big mistake. Don't. Well, yeah, you fucked up. Pot's I, heavy, bro. Yeah, if I ever do anything again, it won't be homemade. That's for sure. Because that pasta dish, had I eaten it at a restaurant, probably would have been like double the calories. Yeah. Because they had so yeah. much butter. They had so much butter and shit. Like I totally shouldn't yeah. have made that at home. Anyway, um, how common are hernias in bodybuilding amongst all the people you know? Have any of you had them? They're very oh, common. As far they're as pretty I know. common and no. Yeah, common and no. I had one. I had it. I had it fixed. You guys, not yeah, me no, too. You had one too, uh, Jose. Not yeah, one word. My no. fucking my stomach was never the same after I had it fixed. And I had it fixed by the same doctor who did Phil's and actually Phil and Rami both went there after me. Um, but it just R- my, didn't my, Phil have his done like two or three times? I think he had it done twice. Twice. Right? Yeah, my I had mine done in like 2016, I think. Um, and I was back in the gym like three days later. That was the whole point of this procedure because the guy does like a really good job. They use lasers, blah, blah, blah. And you're right back in the gym like right away. But I could never really flex my abs the same after he did whatever the fuck he did. So I don't know. Um, have you ever had, no, have you ever had, ever had any paranormal weird experiences? Paranormal. Very anal uh, um, experiences? I said paranormal. What the fuck did you say? I thought you said perianal experience. No, I said paranormal. paranormal. Why are you thinking about anal, dude? No, I thought that's what you said. Oh, you did. Peri, peri. I said paranormal. Oh, you said oh, it, bro, go. Para, it's paranormal. Not I said paranormal. paranormal. Oh, your accent's weird. You said <laughs> perinormal. My accent. My. Do you know what you sound like? I sound absolutely perfect. I love dude, your Boston accent. Um, all right, we'll skip that one. We'll skip that one. All right, let's, so how many times out of ten? Two questions. Nope, nope. Skip, skip. How many nope. times do you out of ten do you get residue on your hand when you wipe? Ooh, residue. Nobody's gonna admit anything. Watch. <laughs> well, like poo poo. Yeah. In your lifetime. No, oh, out, of, out, out of 10. Before. Out of 10. I think it's going to be more than 10. Okay, out of 100. 
Out of a hundred poops? Yeah. I don't fucking know. Two? Is there? Uh, could be every one. I could have washed my hands after. I don't know. Could, what could is the a... location of the best pizza in the world? I don't know. I don't really New eat York. Pizza. New York. I'd had... say New York, yeah. I've never had really... New York pizza. Ah, oh, dude, New York pizza's good. Come I don't like pizza. Thing. I don't, right, but New come York this, pizza right, come over this weekend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. <laughs> the North End in Boston. How far is New York from your house? 45. Hey, Jose, do you, uh, do you watch all those Boston movies, like The Town and shit like that? Of course. Do of you, course. Do you love that shit? I love it. Yeah, I thought so. You ever see Black Mass? That was a great movie, though. You ever see what? Black Mass with Johnny Depp? No. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have. That's the uh, the Whitey Bulger. Whitey Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger. Yeah. Yeah, I did see that. It was awesome. Yeah, Yeah, there's a fucking lot of cool movies from that area. Yeah. Uh, Okay. There's a lot of rate my physiques. Would reducing the number of automatic Olympia qualifiers from the previous year be a good way to manage the numbers no. of competitors for future Olympias? What do you say? No. He's saying basically like five people, the top five qualify for the following year at the Olympia. Would it be better if they didn't? No. Because then they would have to compete. No. Top five, no. I think so. I think, no. Mr. I think Mr. Olympia is the only one who should qualify. No. No. What? Yeah. No. Top five. No. Then yeah, he it. has an unfair advantage over everyone. So that's what you get as Mr. Olympia. Yeah, I think uh well, I, I don't really I'm only care. saying that I'm only saying that because think of this, right? We've been trying to talk about is it better to have, like there's like 30 people qualified this year. And we've talked about how to reduce that number. And we can't really think of a rational way to do it without offending someone. But if you took away those four spots, like second through fifth. That's four less people you would have automatically. Yeah. And those shows that the people competed in would be more exciting. Because now Nick, Hunter, Hottie, and uh Brandon would all had to, would have had to do a show this year. That would yeah. eliminate that would eliminate four names from that list that might not belong there. And it would be more exciting for people to get to see them more than once a year. Yeah. So I agree, it? but I, I feel like if you're top five in the world, you should get like something. And I think that's fair to give them. They are getting something. You're getting $200,000 per second. They are okay. getting something. They're getting a fuck ton you, of money. You don't get that for fifth. I know, but I'm just saying like you're getting, you're getting a lot of money for being in the top five. And what you're did getting... you get for fifth? 50? 30. No. 30. Oh. Is it 30 really? Yeah. That's a big drop from 400 to 30, five placings. Yeah, bro. They should change that a little bit. Yeah. It should be like 300, 200, and then like split it up as the throw at the top five. Why did they go four and then two? That's third, great. third, third's a hundred. Thank God hostile matches your prize money. Oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Jose. <laughs> oh, wait, they don't? <laughs> yeah, if you, you need a new manager, I'd be I'd be broke. <laughs> if he won, the, if he wins the Olympia this year, I got fucking I'd be, I'd be bankrupt. That's it. It's good fucking. All right. Um. So, do we agree or not agree? Not nobody agrees with me. I don't agree. Guy, no, you don't agree. Don't agree. No. Jose, you don't agree either. Fuck you guys. I I I kind of do. I kind of do because I think that list is way too big. Oh, you, you do or you don't, Jose. Well, you could oh. kind of re- you you could meet in the middle. You could reduce it to the top two or top three. I'll go. I'll go as low as top three. Three. Minimum. Nick's only Nick's only saying that because he thinks he's going to be top three this year. So he's no, like, as I'm long as it. I know, but I'm just saying, like that way, it puts you out of it. Yeah, top three. <laughs> I agree with that. Top three. All right. Well, I'm glad we could come to a nice, nice compromise. Middle ground. Yeah. I'll call Jim after the podcast. <laughs> Labrada drinks five protein shakes a day. What else is he not telling us besides the gear? Any other vitamins he is taking to get that big and lean? No, it just people, people are so crazy. It's like it just works for him, man. I don't know. I don't know why people like. Why do people think someone's hiding something all the time? 
The guy's a genetic fucking freak. I got a, I got a question on that though. This might sound stupid, but no, I don't go care. ahead. Go ahead. If you drink five shakes a day, yeah, right, yeah. How much water would you drink in a day, considering your food is liquid? Well, I would figure if you're drinking a liter of water, that's a lot of fucking liquid. Yeah, but it's you're probably drinking like 750 mils per shake. He does all shakes. I don't know if he does five or three. No, I, I mean, think I, like four of them were. Yeah, I think he does like three or something like five. Did you ever think that that was a marketing strategy to promote no. his dad's brand? No, I because no, 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 he's he's always been like that. He's got he's got a fucked up stomach, so he can't really eat like whole foods a lot. So that is something he was doing. I don't think, wow. he, and plus, I I don't think hunters like that. Like, I don't think hunters like, oh, we'll do this. It'll be a marketing ploy. Like, he's no, just not that. No. He's he, not that. He, kind, he's he, not that kind he, of guy. He has a hard time eating. Yeah, he's not. I don't think he's a bullshitter kind of person. Um, I think he's got a ton of fucking muscle, and he's a genetic freak. And yep. genetic and genetic freaks can do shit that normal people can't. So yeah. Yeah. I remember Boston Lloyd called me out one time and called me a fucking liar because I posted that I was doing three shakes a day. But I legit really? I legit was doing three shakes a day at the time for about well, four. Why years. why are you lying? <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't eat and I wanted to just get some protein in. So you and I, I was I was having trouble eating, so I was doing shakes. Yeah, just drink a shake. And uh Look, I don't. I honestly don't think Hunter's lying, and I don't think there's any secret. I think he's just a fucking freak. Oh, I, yeah, I don't. I don't think he's lying. No. Um. At at this point, who is the mo- more complete? Oh, we already did this one. Sorry. Um. On the topic of painted fingernails, what's your thoughts on dudes with dangly cross earrings? <laughs> I saw Ooh. this question. Why? Who's got dangly cross earrings? Guy, do you have dangly know. cross earrings? But you have a cross, so if a guy had a cross on his ears, would that bother you? Ask Jose. Jose, would it bother you if you had a if somebody had a dangly cross earring? It bothers me about as much as the painted fingernails. <laughs> okay. I don't really care, but I, I put it in the same category. Guy, I do you care? Him. I wouldn't. I mean, I mean, I for- think you'd be it'd be happy. He's promoting your religion. Yeah, if somebody, I. If, <laughs> Unless you're in that's a, rock a tough band. one. See, that's a tough one, guy. You're like, I think it's stupid, but because it's religion, it's not. No, stupid. I was gonna say, I think somebody with a dangly fingernail or uh, earring, I'd be like, he's probably he's probably gay, right? That's what I would think. Assume. What? You. <laughs> you just keep stepping in it. No. <laughs> uh, oh no, no, I'm thinking of the right ear. Was it the right ear that I'm thinking it of? It doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't well, matter anymore. Let's move no, on. But, no, I'm saying back, but when we were growing up, wasn't the right ear, if you had it in your right ear, meant you were like, God, you're so fucking funny, man. You're just... you no, know, he's right. <laughs> Thank I don't you. know if that's true in Canada. but in the No, no, States, he is right. It, back yeah. in the day, it was. That's what I was like... thinking of, not dangly, what side it was. All right, next question. <laughs> I still wouldn't I still wouldn't do it, as you're asking me. No, let's move on. Uh, let's move on. Uh, my husband is a bodybuilder and recently, recently bought a sport bike. He can't find any protective gear that fits his arms or quads. No, any brands. That, oh, sorry, guys. No, any brands that fit. No, I don't. Um, okay. but, keep, but keep driving it safely. Do you ever see a guy going trans and competing in women's bodybuilding? No, Fuck, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put anything past what's going on nowadays. No, I don't think it would be allowed. I think- it is allowed. It is allowed. There's a woman here. There's a trans woman here that won uh figure. Is it figure? Might have been a figure show. I can't remember if it was figure or women's uh, physique. Yeah, here in Ontario. I don't think Jim would let that happen. I'll, I'll say it right now. I don't think I don't think, that, I don't think the all. judges I don't think the judges knew she was a trans woman. You agree with that? Do I agree with that? Yes. I don't agree with trans women. No, I, I don't agree on the sports front. I don't agree with that. That's because okay. that's just an unfair advantage. Yes. Right. I feel like when it comes to sports, especially like, especially if there's any type of uh, combat or hitting, you know what I mean? If you're talking about like MMA, well, MMA is combat, but even if you're talking about a, a, a contact sport, like football. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, you're still, especially in those instances, I would say it's not fair. Because I don't, I don't agree with this whole thing. Like you were a guy for fifteen to twenty years, and then, and then you, you took hormone blockers for two years, and now you're a woman. 
I'm sorry. No way, you, dude. I'm sorry. Your biology is still your bone structure. Your athleticism is still. You're male. still guys. Yeah. So as far as gender goes, people can do whatever the fuck they want. But as far as sex, sex is a, to me, sex is one or the other. And when it comes to sports, I feel like it's unfair. If, like, man, when you see that swimmer, that was destroying the fucking women's swimming teams, like just killing them. Like I think the one time he beat their beat the girl, he was up by 38 seconds or some shit. Or if I, I don't know if I'm totally butchering that, but the guy was like 500th in the men's swimming. And then he was breaking all the records in the women's swimming. Like that's got to tell you something. And it tells so, you all you need to know. Yeah. So I feel like in that instance, guy, I'm with you now oh, yeah. on a, on a bodybuilding stage though. I don't know if the same thing applies. Yes, it does. Why? Okay, look, look, look at how I'm not saying it doesn't. It. I'm just asking you to explain. Look how much easier it is for a guy to gain muscle. So if a guy switches... No, no, but I'm saying like if it was bikini, right? It's not really a based on muscle. So it's not really a... a she was in bikini? Really, no, no, I'm it's, just saying if it was in bikini. Like oh. it's not really like based on muscle. So you wouldn't really have an advantage. I don't think you could do bikini though. What about Sean Clarita versus Sidney Gillian? In what? In figure. Well, Sidney Gillian would kill him. No, but what if he, you know, transformed? I think they look identical. <laughs> look at their faces. Do a side by side. <laughs> Sid Gillen and Sean Clarita. They're like long lost twins. No, Sid Gillian has like the prettiest physique known to man. It's right. not. But if Sean wasn't all jacked up and he was like 120 pounds, if he was small, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Does it matter in bodybuilding or not? I think it does. In bodybuilding itself, it does. Because if you're a female bodybuilder, then yeah, you'd have the advantage of gaining muscle. But I think so, just a little bit. Yeah. Did you guys as long see as that, they don't fight? Did you guys see that teacher with the massive tits? What? What? Did you see the, the trans woman teacher? Wait, what? No. Massive, massive tits. It's... What? So How do you know about this stuff? Because it's all over the news, dude. Wait, so it's Where? a guy with in massive Ontario? tits? I'm going to show you. It's in Ontario, like actually, got, Canada. It's in Canada. You got fake tits in? I'm going to show you. You guys allow some weird shit up there. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Look. So Ooh. this is a man. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, and no. he has these fake this tits. This world is fucked. Listen, this is get... real. This is real. I'm not joking. Look, Ontario School Board defends teachers' right no. to wear a massive prosthetic bust at work. I forget what grade she teaches, but it's in a, it's she even a, has a mask on. It's in a grade school, not a high school. So this is like you're teaching 13 and younger. Look she at this. Look, look, look at there's a there's a kid in the background. How old's this kid? Like 10. Look at it. Look at the nipples. <laughs> are those, those are prosthetic and not implants. Yes. Look here, she is. She's a shop teacher. Look here, she is cutting some wood. Why That's are the they so low? I've ever seen. So, is this insane? Like, why are they I'm, so low though? If I was a parent, I'd be like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Like, what would happen if a guy? How can, went, how can people look at this and say that's okay? Can wait a somebody, minute. What like, would happen? Can somebody, would happen? can we just like acknowledge the nipple? Okay, we see the nipple. See like, the look nipple. at the size of the nipple. <laughs> Your baby cow. Yeah. Listen. But what would happen if a guy went to this school to teach and put like a big fake dick in his pants that you could see? Like yeah. people, people would be outraged. How is this fucking any different? I'm outraged. Wait, so they're not real? No, they're not real, Nick. They're not real. They're just big p plastic tits. So they even made like obnoxious nipples on there too. <laughs> oh, this dude, that's stupid. Take them out. <laughs> Anyway, that's the shit. I want to know if anybody thinks that's okay. That's insanity. If, I'm no, sorry. No, I don't, Listen, I don't, I don't I agree don't, with it. I don't know who would be mad at me. I don't really give a fuck. If my kid went to that school, I'd be like, sorry. You're fucking, you're fucked. If, that, if those are the, if that's your. I don't want my kid around people that think that's okay. Yeah, that's, I don't like it. Yeah, it's just like, my kid's here to learn, man. What the fuck are you doing? Like, if that was a real person, like if that was that person's real tits, then that's a little different. You're like, you can't be like, well. You can't you can't hire somebody with big tits, but like those are fake. The person just puts them in there. To, and the goes, person's like, fake. <laughs> Not even a real gender, whatever the fuck that is. Um. Yeah, I'm not about it. 
knowing what you know, uh, no, 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 knowing what you know, no. If you, lost, know. if you lost all your muscle overnight, what would you do? Cry. Seriously. Go to the gym. <laughs> I would cry. <laughs> I'd start training. Seriously, what would happen if you woke up tomorrow, I would, Nick? I would and, cry. And then what? I don't know. I would like have to reevaluate myself. Place the biggest order for steroids known to man. Here's a better question. If if he lost all his muscle overnight, <laughs> would you cut him from hostile? I was thinking that when he said I don't I would cry. I'd be like, yes. what I, I cut? No, I wouldn't. Yes. Yes. No, I wouldn't. Yes, yes. you would, you selfish yes. bastard. No, no, I would he just, would he'd I have would a great keep, campaign I, of like, his comeback. I would yeah. keep you. I would just pay you less. <laughs> <laughs> Until you got it back. Until you got it back. And then we would renegotiate again. You would say hostility. But, but Jose's no, right. Back. It would be a great marketing campaign yeah. of like. Hostility and silo got Nick's, me fucking 300 Nick's pounds. Nick's comeback there. to the stage. No. Look what hostile did for him. Well, I would never say that. That's bullshit. Um. <laughs> When will the tank tops drop? Late this week. Yeah, man. They love that shit. <laughs> uh, Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts? Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. We should, Krispy have a Krispy, Kreme. we should have a Krispy Kreme contest. We don't have them around here. You don't have one? We don't have one in this in our in, in Windsor either. No. I don't even think There's I've had There's not one close to me. I don't think I I've ever had it. I I don't think I've ever had it like a like a warm Krispy Kreme donut in my life. What? Yeah. You've never had a Krispy Kreme oh, donut in your life. Man, they're so good. I had one, but it, it wasn't like a, like right from the place, like warm. They got hey. a maple bacon donut. I feel like that's too much. No, too much. it's delicious. Best Is donuts it? I ever had were this guy in Texas called Momo's Donuts, where he fucking makes the best donuts I've ever had. Krispy Kreme are my favorite, just because you can like just one, you can just one bite them. I like Krispy Kreme. Um. You know, something about this show, every time we're done, I want to cheat. Shocker. Because we talk about food, bro. Is that why? Yeah. We, every time we're done, I'm like, McDonald's. Do you Uber Eats? He's gone at night. I'm on a new program, so I'm not going to. Yeah. Fuad's been Does doing it. Does it involve Uber Eats? What's Grocery delivery service. What's that? Yeah, called? I was going to ask you guys about that. Do you guys do Instacart? He gets his groceries delivered. I used to cart everything, bro. Thank you. Not once. Mm-hmm. Jose thinks I'm weird because I get my groceries delivered. You're what? So no, I, I, mean, I Instacart. Well, you let God. people pick out your food. They give you the they've like, never got. They've food. never got. Wait a minute, Jose. If there's somebody that he can pay to do it, I've noticed. If he can pay somebody to do it, he'll do it. It doesn't matter what it is. If so, if there's a price and he thinks it's good enough that he doesn't have to do it, he'll pay it. Hey, you I like to save my time potatoes? for myself. And pick you the best potato? No. I don't grab... eat potatoes. Well, whatever it is. Eggs. The hummus. Apples. <laughs> apricots. No. Listen, they have yet to bring me anything that was not good. Once they do, then I'll agree with you. But I've ordered probably from there like seven or eight times. And I order every, single, every day. At every single time, it's exactly what I want. You're fucking both lazy fucks. No, man, it's better. And I don't eat as much shit because I don't it's I go better, to the It's better time management. Yeah. I would get in my new X6 and drive to the nearest grocery store and do it myself. No. I, nah. get, my, I get my X6, just drive around because it's fun to drive around. <laughs> Let somebody else do the grocery shopping. Fuck that. Can you believe these guys? Fucking Jose. What's wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, we're from a different you? world, guy. I What's wrong with you guys? They're millennials. It costs like five bucks. Somebody goes to the grocery store, gets all your fucking groceries, stands in line, waits in that shitty line, checks out, carries all your bags, puts them at your front door, and fucks off for five bucks. Who just hates humans? He no, hates human I, interaction. I, I, Fuad, no. Do they ring your doorbell? Every time I see yeah. Fuad, he's by himself. Yeah, they ring the doorbell. over on his bike to do a circle. What are you talking about? I'm always, guys. I had to pull over. I'm always with Paul. What are you talking about? I'm by myself. Yeah, Paul probably hates people, too. No. Paul likes people. You like the only two people that you guys like. Where do you want me to be around? Where do you go? You go to the fucking gym. I got my own gym. What do you want from me? I go out in public. Jose. Like where? Where do you go in public? Because I'm not techie. So instead of emailing my bank, I go to the bank and talk to the people. You still go to the bank? 
Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh yeah. Online banking. You just do all your deposits and your fucking everything. Yeah, right I, from- I do some of that, but I'd rather talk to a human. No, fuck that. I still write checks. Me too. It's not. It's not the talking to humans part that bothers me. I can't stand waiting in line anywhere. It's like if I could just go to the grocery store and walk up to the register and talk to the cashier and check out. Cool. I don't want to stand in line behind eight people. Right. Do you know the last time I waited in a fucking grocery store line? They have self check. Yeah, I don't think that's I, even I, worse. I don't want to check. Yeah, out I don't want groceries. to do it myself. You get to bag your own groceries. I don't want to. I bag don't want to. I'm paying a premium for the. I'm paying. They're they're making money off me. They should have a fucking grocery clerk to fucking put my shit in the bags. Damn right. Wow. Yeah. You too. What are you gonna work for? You're working for them. You go to the grocery store, you pick the groceries, you know and then you gotta bag it yourself. Guy and I have actually gone grocery shopping together. I went grocery shopping with Nick. I went grocery shopping with Nick. Oh, say when you told we the did. clerk we did when you told the clerk we were 76% gay. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're only 76% gay. We haven't decided yet. <laughs> That's funny. Listen, I don't talking. know. You know, guy, I don't understand what it is with you and my efficiency. Why would I waste my time cutting the grass, getting groceries? Oh, like, dude. Why would I do all that? Because you would find a, a stress relief in the cutting of the grass. No, my stress relief it's is fun. my stress relief is going for a ride on my motorcycle. If you sat on my fucking tractor with no phone and just fucked off for a couple hours cutting grass, you'd be like, oh, this is awesome. It would be the fucking worst. I'd be like, it's fun. I just wasted two hours of my life on fucking nothing god how is that how is that relaxing it's like artistic it's 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 fucking funny hey nick when these guys cut their grass they fucking take a picture like look how straight the lines are bro yeah (laughs) (laughs) video i send (laughs) you old motherfuckers oh it's it's a great experience these guys are comparing fucking how much fucking lawn tools they have in their sheds i'm like (laughs) I pay the yes. guy. I pay the guy forty bucks. He comes and cuts my fucking grass and leaves. I have no tools. I have no That's shit. That's man shit. You Fuck gotta be able shit. to cut your own lawn. I can if I want to. I don't want to fucking cut my own grass. I Fuck that. Think it would look uh, good, man, though. I think it would look great. I, you know how much grass I have, dude. Honestly, I cut my grass in like half an hour. That's why exactly. it's ridiculous. He doesn't work that you pay someone for. It. <laughs> That's what's the fucking ridiculous part. Listen, about man, it. I waste my time on. It would make money. more sense if he paid somebody to cut the grass that I have. I waste my time on my business and my podcast and whatever's left. I want to enjoy. I don't fucking I go to the gym. And when he means enjoy. He means sit on the couch and do nothing. That is part of my enjoyment. Yes, <laughs> I like to watch. I, I'm with Fuad here. Yeah, thank you. Fuad's busiest time of day and in interaction is throwing the ball to his dog. <laughs> That, that's like his most See? talking talking to the drive through at Starbucks. See, that's why I get somebody to get my groceries. So I have an what extra about your half, coffee. What about your coffee? I have coffee? an extra half an hour. What about your coffee? Do they bring your coffee? Do they bring your coffee? Lazy fuck. No, I won't pay 10 bucks for a delivered coffee. It's too much. Well, what about if they bring it on, on the way with your the groceries? Ball to his dog, he's like worried about is the dog getting too much exercise? <laughs> he wants <laughs> even his dog to be lazy. <laughs> He's like, I should pay someone to just Dude, only. It was like 95 fucking degrees out the one day. I was worried the dog was gonna have heat stroke. No, he loved it. Well, at first a certain period of time, then it's like don't it's make too much. your dog lazy too. Dude, my dog's lean as fuck, and he's got tons of energy. He's great. I take yeah. him out every day. Every day he goes to the park. Good. Yeah, your dog's cool. But that's why he goes to the park because I pay somebody to cut my grass, so I have time to take him to the park. Oh, all right. See what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all it's time management. Jose, Jose, all Jose. right. Jose. I'm not buying it. Next Jose. question. Jose, trust me. Get Jose, you, your grass. you gotta go to the grocery store like once a week. He's 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 ridiculous. I go like three times a week. I like my food fresh. You don't even go. Well, no, but when I was going. <laughs> so now I don't have to. You're such an idiot. I do Uber Eats three times a week. <laughs> um I don't understand why you wouldn't want to. It doesn't make any sense. It does if you're not a lazy fuck. Dude, they, they bring the groceries right to your front door. All you got to do is say, you just say thanks, and you pick it up. And Would you put it be cool to do once in a while if I was in a bind? Yeah, but like... I, no, I, not if you're in a bind. Let's say you got nothing to do. You're like, you know what? I don't feel like going to the grocery store. And you're like, bring it to my house. They're like, okay. And they show up at your house. 
and it just goes in your fridge. You put it in the fridge, and it's done. With no, I, I, like, goods, I like walking around the grocery store. And it Why? sits on your front stoop for you know two how many hours. Fucking grocery stores I walked around for 20 years bodybuilding. It's it's made me sick of the grocery store. I think I went to the grocery store so much during bodybuilding years that I'm like, I just you anti- realize that you're talking to other retired pro bodybuilders that probably went to the grocery store just as much as you. Yeah, I know. That's why. But I'm telling you why I don't want to go anymore. I'm not saying that's you. I don't want to go anymore now. Yeah. See, Nick, Nick's, Nick's, smart. Nick's smart. And I just, my career just You know started. what I think the problem is? Because you guys are 212s, you're not that heavy. So you have more energy. Hey, Jose. I think, I think we don't need as many Jose, Jose, I think when you're want, over. They don't want any of it. I, I think I when you're over 250, it's harder to move around and shit. He's like, pulling that 212 shit again. Jose, Jose, <laughs> Jose. At our, at our, hold on, at our peak. In the gym, could we bury those two idiots? Oh, give me a fucking oh. break, dude. Oh, be- crazy? bury me what? Jose, Jose. Are you fucking crazy? Jose. Bury me what? Jose, at our peak. They stand oh, the chance. Oh, God. You have no you idea, guys. never Jose, bury me. no chance. You My have no idea. Jose, embarrass you. Jose, tell him. No, no fucking chance. Guy. Five minutes in between sets and shit. Guy, you have no oh, idea. Oh, dude, like that. Oh. Nobody oh, does that. Who are you talking home. to? Who are you now talking he to? trains with Kamal. He's training hardcore. My Who are you talking to? Oh, about, time. Time. about time. He's about he's finally training hard. Look at this fucking guy. Look how fun hurt he gets. Look at this fucking Look guy. Look how fun he gets. Look. Because he trains fast. He thinks that means he trains hard. I didn't say that. You just did. I didn't say that's the only reason. Five minute breaks. Uh, I did notice guys training in Crocs. Because <laughs> he's a retard. He's only a black guy. Like it's, that. A, it's another injury. I just got some new Crocs. Why do you got to try to jinx me? Because don't train in Crocs, man. It's not yeah, good. Well, dude, I tried squatting with, with no shoes on. It killed my ankles. And what's with those like, socks you're wearing? Like Crocs. They're mine, bro. It's called fucking marketing. Why do they go up to your knees, though? Because they're fucking tube socks. <laughs> 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 the tube socks. <laughs> How much weed did you go off camera and smoke and come back? Yeah, you did. Yes, you did, you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, has Guy ever FaceTimed you at night out in his garage, in his shed? No. Smoking these had... weird contraptions? I haven't had that he, like, luxury He lights yet. up a ball of wax and then sucks it all into a glass tube. I'm like, what are you doing? You look like a crack addict. Guy, you left the camera. You got fucked up and you came back. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> all right all right let's do one more we'll go it's been it's been like two and a half hours okay uh thought of this one the other day asked the what okay would you want would you want your children growing up with a friend that was exactly like you as a kid no no, no yeah i was a good kid why not well like now know. we're a kid like a kid, like it says a kid. I don't know. Yeah, I was good as a kid. Yeah, I didn't get in a lot of trouble. Even as a, even in high school, I wasn't that bad of fucking shit disturber. No, as a kid, yeah, we, we can be friends. I didn't really start doing anything really <laughs> shitty until I got to, to like twenty. <laughs> well, the laws eight, are different now. The shit that I used to do, you'd never get away with today. Like what? Name one thing. Everything. Fighting. <laughs> everything. Everything. Uh, I mean, in high school, I. I Ran through the halls with a fire extinguisher. Did blowing. you really? Yeah. <laughs> didn't, get, didn't get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. What else? I don't know. Most oh, of the, for me, it was 20. For, forever. 20 to 25 were my shit years where I wouldn't want my kid hanging out with that guy. But before that. I, don't know if I had shit years. I just partied a lot no, between 20 and 25. I don't. <laughs> I partied a lot, but I was still cool. No, but I mean, like, I was doing drugs and shit. If I had a kid, I'd be like, yeah, I should probably stay away from that guy. I, I, oh, never, yeah. I never did drugs. Yeah. Yeah, I think up until 20, I'd be, okay, cool. You can hang out with that guy. Hmm. 20 to 25, I'd be like, yeah, stay away with that guy. Yeah. And then 26, so you were cool again? Well, it depends. Do I want my kid hanging out with a bodybuilder? And then my kid's probably going to do steroids, too. Yeah, but were you a cool bodybuilder or like a dipshit? No, well, I, think, I think I was a fine lad. I I'd, I'd like to. That's fine. No, I think I was a good person. I think it was fun to hang out with. But do I want my kid bodybuilding? Is what I'm saying. Well, your kid's gonna end up doing what he wants. Yeah. No, that's not true. You can kind of. You can't him, tell them you, you can't do it. In my world, you could. My dad would be like, "You can do this, or you can do that." You wouldn't like, you know. It was his his rules. Yeah. 
Or you can get out. If my dad wanted me to not bodybuild, I probably wouldn't have bodybuilt. Like he didn't care. He was like, you do what makes you happy. But if you wanted me to not to, yeah. I, probably, I probably wouldn't have. That's how it was. But did my, he I, know what went into bodybuilding? I don't think he know. No, I don't think he knew the extent of it. He might have had some inclination, but I don't think he knew steroids and all that. Like he was too old. I think my dad was. <clears throat> I think my dad was seventy when I started bodybuilding. Okay. So yeah. he just he probably wouldn't understand. Yeah. The, the steroid aspect. Better so, off. so he was like, "Yeah, go build muscle. Go be happy." I'm like, "All right, cool." There but you go. yeah, but no, you're right. For the most part, Nick, you're right. You can't make your kid do anything. But. You just have to hope they don't. All right, let's ask that. Let's just go that direction then. Would you want your kid hanging out with a professional bodybuilder because then he's probably going to be influenced by them? If my kid was smart, I would hope he would just make his own decisions. Yeah, I mean, I'd say no. I hung around with people that did drugs. I never did drugs. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I mean, I did stuff, but I was more like guy. Social. Guy, did your parents like try to control you though? No, it like when like, I was in high school, it was like you can, like in the summer, go out, you can come back, you can call them as late as you want. You bring the cops home, you're fucking going to get your ass. Well, that, that, I think that's part of the reason why you never did bad shit because you had the freedom. I feel but, like when most but I had kids. A, but I had to earn that. I didn't get that. I earned Well, that. I'm saying I feel like that most kids live. A Dude, I never got a fucking, I never got a, I never got a detention, bro. They, I know, they get I know, into bad shit. I know what Nick's saying though, because like for me growing up, like, we weren't allowed to spend the night at a friend's house. We weren't allowed to stay. That's oh, what I mean. I feel like if you're, yeah, yeah I have friends that, over and shit. All you're more time. prone yeah. to do that, like shit that's defiant. Yeah, because once you're, once you have a little bit of freedom, you're like, fuck, I'm going to go crazy. And not no. that your, not, God, not that your parents would allow it, but the fact you had more freedom, you were oh, just yeah. like, nah, I don't want to do that shit. Oh, I had friends over and sleepovers and shit. Yeah, like that all the time. I had a curfew for a long time, and then even after I got later into my teens, we still weren't allowed to sleep out. I moved out when I was like 19, so I could have like my own fucking life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because like, and, and I like, yeah, I, I was always kind of once I had a car, I was kind of allowed to do whatever the fuck I want as long as I didn't get as long as I didn't get in trouble. I was good. Yeah, I kept a lot of shit away from my parents because my parents were so like. No, my parents do everything. I kept a lot of shit away from my parents, man. Like even I when didn't... I got drunk, like I call my parents at one in the morning. Hey, I never wanted to. I never. <laughs> I couldn't do that because obviously drinking was against our religion and my parents were religious people. Right. So I could never, I remember I got the very, very first time I ever got drunk. I think I did like 15 shots of Southern comfort or something like that. And like, <laughs> in like an hour. Oh, <laughs> I, did, dude, I fucking, I did something very similar and Listen, I got fucked. I remember throwing up oh, partially, yeah. partially on myself. I would have thrown up a thousand times. I didn't know anything about drinking or the smell of alcohol or anything. My parents come pick me up like four hours later. He fuck. My dad fucking was pissed. He's like, you're not going fucking nowhere. Fuck you. You're not leaving anywhere in your car. You're not fucking beat the shit out of me that night. I was like, that was, yeah. So I kept, I kept a lot away from my parents though, man. Cause I was like, they were older and they were good people. And I'm like, they don't need to know about all my dumb shit. So I just yeah. kept it all quiet. I never, I never did anything stupid. I was so afraid of my dad, bro. I think all of us probably were at some point. But I yeah. never did anything because I was that afraid. My dad caught me dipping once. He, he, he threatened to cut my lip off. <laughs> Dude, I, I smoked in my team. Like, well, I still semi do, but my dad never knew I smoked. Wow. I used to go to great lengths to like to fucking put gum in my mouth, cologne, fucking wash my fingers, like make sure before I came home. I was fucking terrified of my parents, man. And I wasn't only terrified for the beating. I was terrified to disappoint them. Right. So I just didn't want to. I almost uh, feel like disappointing is worse than like pissing them off. Of course it is. Yeah, because they were good to us. So when like, your mom's like, when your yeah. mom and dad are mad at you, you're like, yeah. Then when I say like, I'm disappointed in you, it's like a whole like, oh shit, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, we'll get together next week. Is yeah. There? Jose, you good? You falling asleep? No, I'm listening. Your hair. I'm look, entertained. Your, your hair's looking good. It is right. Yeah. Why, yeah don't you, why don't you fade the sides in? I'm gonna. I just I was too busy food shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll do it tomorrow. Quick. He's quick. All right, motherfuckers. I'll uh I'll see you guys next week. Uh, yeah. Have a good night. Okay, guys. Bye -bye. Bye, bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. 
And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.